Hello, hello, hello. Little delay there. I had my Twitch volume on, so I was getting the echo. Hello, hello, hello. What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fine. Oh, we're already 2-0. Oh. Fine. <laughs> Thursday evening to you all. Oh, good to see ya, good to see ya. Hey, what's up, Fabby? Helichrome, okay, Mr. Panda. McIntyre, White Lotus, Lucas Donald, Zazzy, Fat, uh, Feklimiv, I don't want to add a vowel into that word. Ellen C, Ellen C. Rust, oh, Saffron Olive, good to meet ya. Paul Neck, <laughs> Salty Sawyer, Sevicum, White Lotus. Oh, yeah, the Gets Odds deck was really fun. I really love Niv. Niv is just such a sweet card to cast, and it's, oh, man, I love the fact that the opponent knows all the cards in your hand with that deck, because you draw so many cards off Niv, and they still can't do anything about it. It's like you're playing with telepathy on the battlefield, and people still can't stop it. It's just too good. Yeah, Niv, Niv is awesome. If you didn't see it, you should uh, check it out on the YouTube channel when you get a chance. It is going to... It is a sweet one. Uh, pants pants optional. I have pants on, but uh, World Hates Paul. Uh, you can do uh, you. Ellen... Alan Rust, welcome to the visual. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Oh, hey, what's up? Hello from the U.S., Josh P.A. Our sixth meta card is Command the Dreadhorn. That is our namesake card. Mass reanimation. Choose any number of target creatures or planeswalkers in any graveyard. You got to take damage equal to their total converted mana cost, and you get them back on the battlefield. That's the card we're trying to resolve today. We are trying to Command the Dreadhorn, people. Uh, oh, uh, TJ. J. Onegin for the six months that are a welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Yeah, I was amazed by how good uh, how good Niv is. We have a we have a wander in the sideboard. The problem is so wander is an interesting one. The problem is oh, wanders not all that good at things. <laughs> that's the that's the challenge of wander. It's four mana. Its abilities are kind of so-so, so I don't know. Maybe we should find room to stick one in. Uh, this deck is trying to go the opposite way, where we're trying to just gain a bunch of life with Wild Growth Walker, Bond of Flourishing, and then we can afford to pay a ton of life because we've gained so much life. Master Toenail and Cold Shoulder. Hey, what's up, Song of Dominia? Welcome to the Fishbowl. 30 months in a row, Cold Shoulder. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. So, yeah, I don't know. The combo with Wanderer is cool. We do have one in the sideboard. Uh, I don't know if it should be in the main deck or not, honestly, but we'll talk about the deck in a minute. We got some, uh, some reminders to do first. I love the Command the Dreadhorde. Yeah, it's a really potentially powerful card, and the deck can do some cool things. Like, we can reanimate a bunch of stuff, do some really splashy big fun things. So hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's sweet. Is there a combo? So... Uh, there's not a direct combo. The combo is getting back a whole bunch of things, although we can do some sweet things where we, like, get back a whole bunch of creatures uh, along with, like, a Massacre Girl to kill all the creatures and a Tamiyo to, like, get back Command the Dreadhorn to get back all the creatures again and gain a bunch of life with Wild Growth Walkers. We're getting back all the creatures. So there's some synergies, but there's no, like, I reanimate these two cards, I win the game on the spot or anything. Super Vats, welcome to the Fishbowl. Oh, actually, just hello. But, well, in the future, I will welcome you to the fishbowl. <laughs> Good to see you. Del Torbs for the 22nd month. Welcome you to the fishbowl. Your stream getting me through waiting on a job offer in Montana. Well, good luck, Del Torbs. Uh, thank you so much for the resub. Big soup cheer for you. One combo I'd like to see, Dreadhorde, Salmon, or Garna, a bunch of other creatures, something to prevent life or gain enough life to where it doesn't matter. Ooh. That could be spicy. Garna's, Garna's interesting. Get everything back with haste and just beat down. That does seem sweet. Uh, no wonder. I wonder if wonder. Uh, we could try it. I mean, we can. Nothing set in stone, so we could move wanderers into the main deck. I'm. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we could try it just to uh, to see how it goes. Hey, what's up, Goth? Anyway, let's do our reminders. Talk about this deck. Start playing Wanderers so we have time to add in... Or start playing our deck so we have time to add in Wanderers if we want to. <laughs> Can you make a persistent Partitioner's Dreadhorde deck? Ooh, maybe. You would need a combo with that one. To get back enough Partitioners to win, you'd need, what, 824 life or more? Actually, maybe more than that. You need a decent amount of life, or a way to uh, 
or a way to protect it. Hey, what's up, Ann? Unabsolutely. Uh, still mad at me? Kishmana isn't even close. Kishmana? Uh, Kish Did you read the magic story? It actually had a Kishmana pronunciation joke with a character in the magic story. I don't. I didn't read the magic story, but someone sent it to me, so... Yeah, that's that's the problem with the Wanderer is it's just not good in very many matchups. It's not very good in I guess it's like okay against burn spells, uh but it's not that great against aggro. It's not that great against control. Uh, so it's good against like I guess big creature decks if you can exile stuff, maybe stop some burn spells, uh, similar to Teo. So that's kind of the challenge. It's one of those cards. It's good, but isn't that good outside of the combo? Ooh, Charm Stray deck. Uh, we'll have to try to make sure. Maybe we could Charm Stray Helm of the Host or something. That would be C. Oh, feel better, Verament. No land or elves in the main. There are not. So we're gonna give this a try. We can always change it if uh, if we need to, but hopefully we can feed the kids or win some matches. <laughs> anyway, uh, reminders. Replay YouTube. That's where you'd find all the old streams, including this one, in the future. The normal YouTube. If you missed it, we played some sweet against the odds action. The challenge with Jace is casting it. It's a lot. Of blue mana, uh, so that's Jace would be sweet, but it is a lot of blue mana, is a problem. Uh, I bet we're gonna lose games because there's no wander. Well, we can always move wander into the deck if we feel like we need it. Very bad. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. A reminder our sponsor is Card Kingdom, and Card Kingdom, they got all the cards you need, War of the Spark in stock, of course, Modern Horizon starting on uh, Monday, Sunday, as far as previews, so they will have those as well, so thank you to them for their support, if you need some cards, you can grab them at Card Kingdom, also, I want to remind everyone, because I'm not sure everyone saw this, we have new emotes, these are new as of a few days ago, but I want to make sure people actually saw them, because they're kind of like below the stream, so I'm not sure everyone saw them, but a bunch of new emotes in in stock so check them out try them out if you need the commands forget them they are down below uh, in the description below the the stream itself so tons of new emotes that are pretty sweet uh, I really like the new emotes so anyway Last reminders, merch page, tokens, t-shirts, play mats. Also, uh, donations, always appreciated, certainly not required. $2 or more gets your message read on stream. So, yeah, they're they're good ones. I like them. They're, they're definitely some good ones. So let's talk about this deck. So this is a Command the Dreadhorde deck. So Command the Dreadhorde. Basically, you can reanimate any number of creatures or planeswalkers from any graveyard, but you take damage equal to their converted mana cost. So, obviously, if you're going to reanimate a bunch of big things, it's going to be taxing on your life total, but you have the possibility to get back a ton of cards all at once, a huge board full of stuff. So, the idea of this deck is kind of built around the Wild Growth Walker. Mervo Branch Walker, Jade Light Ranger Explorer Package. Also got a Ixalan Diviner, because you never have too much exploring. So in the early game, we want to play these cards to gain life, which is going to give us a life cushion for Command the Dreadhorn. The uh, Dreadhorde. The other thing they do is we can explore our expensive stuff. Ugins, Massacre Girls, Tamios, Teferis, Varaskas, Kayas, all these Planeswalkers. We can explore them into the graveyard as we're digging to find Command the Dreadhorde. Then we are going to Command the Dreadhorde, reanimate literally everything, and hopefully just win the game. We can also reanimate all of our creatures that die so we can get back Wagger walker along with explore creatures gain more life kind of somewhat weirdly similar to the golgari citadel deck how we're using this uh this engine of the life gain we're not trying to be the explore deck but we're using this engine of the life gain from the explore deck to be able to support really cool janky things bond of flourishing digs through our deck uh our planeswalkers kind of finishers they're helpful in various way i are rico welcome to the fishbowl thank you for your subscription big soups here for our our new subscriber. Uh, Planeswalkers, ah, they're Planeswalkers. Best ones of the bunch. Tamio can get back our Command the Dreadhorn. We can, like, get back Massacre Girl to Wrath our board and our opponent's board. Tamio to get back Command the Dreadhorn, do it again. Uh, minus the Massacre Girl if we want to. So we can kind of loop things there. Faraska gets things in the graveyard with Sacrifice. Narset digs our deck for Command the Dreadhorn. Uh, Teferi mostly protects us from counter spells. Uh, we don't want to get our Command the Dreadhorn counter. That would be really brutal. 
Sideboard, a lot more Planeswalkers, Cruel Harpooner for Flyers, Dovin, Teferi, Kaya, Elder Spell to uh, pump up the Planeswalkers, Unmoored Eagle to deal with Teferi's Nexus of Fates, a Wanderer for the combo. This is a card that people have been asking about if it should be in the main deck. Maybe, I don't know. The Wanderer does kind of combo if you have it on the battlefield when you command the Dreadhorn because you don't take non-combat damage. So you can randomly any number of things. Uh, there's risks with the plan, like it getting killed. It's also just not a very powerful card outside of the combo in our current meta. So we do have one in the sideboard, but maybe it should be in the main deck. A Soren, a Hostage Taker. We do have Interplanar Beacon in our mana base. Otherwise, bunch of shock lands, bunch of check lands. So that's uh, basically the plan. No, if it comboed when you returned it, I would be all about the Wanderer, but you actually have to physically have it on the battlefield. I thought that too at first, that if you could reanimate it and then the timing works so it would prevent the damage, that would be sweet, but apparently that doesn't actually work. Would Angel of Grace work if you want to overextend paying your life total or just the timing? I believe the timing does not work. It's basically, uh, we have the four branch walkers. We just have one extra explorer creature in Ixalan's Divinery. I I believe the timing won't work, similar to how it doesn't work if you reanimate Wanderer. So, can you look at my green black infect deck? I would love to. Anyway, let's uh, let's take this deck out for a spin. Oh man, this deck. Before you do, I was talking about this on Twitter. <laughs> I threw together this deck because I wanted to make a Spark Double deck, and I was like, "Oh, Spark Double is so sweet." And then I played Spark Double, copying I don't remember one of the Planeswalkers, and I didn't really connect that Spark Double. The whole thing it does is make it non-legendary. That's why you can copy a Planeswalker. So then I missed a Mobilized District attack that I really need to kill a Planeswalker, and I was like, "All right, that's all right." And I untapped the next turn. I was like, "I'll just Urza's." Ruinous Blast, and it exiled the Spark Double Planeswalker, and then I Shame Scoop, so that was that was fun. Uh, Adventures in Brewing, M. Jacobs, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Um, why Diviner over, um, over Seeker Squire? Just mana mostly. We have more green sources than we do black sources. Seeger Squire, a little bit more powerful, but we're not really trying to beat down in the early game so much. We're mostly trying to to kind of like combo, essentially. Oh, we don't have any arena sounds. Not that you can ever hear them anyway for some reason. 49, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Yeah, we got some sweet arena news. They are bringing the chess clock to arena, and that is going to be spectacular. Why am I... I feel like it's just my my head and the screen. Hey, what's up, Cheeky? How are you? Um, yeah, we're gonna have a timer. Ooh, this clock cannot. This hand cannot cast anything. Um, we're gonna have a timer for for best of three matches on Arena. Yeah, I guess we got a mulligan this. We just literally can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> this mana base. All right, I guess we keep this, but this is not encouraging. Plains Rambler, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoop's here for our new subscriber. Hey, we'll try it. Well, there's black mana, so we'll keep it. Well, Temple Garden go. Well, we're going to need some action. Hey, Seth. Is Interplanar Beacon bugged out arena? I had a Drowned Catacombs, Breeding Pool, Interplanar Beacon. It wouldn't let me use the colored mana from the beacon to pay for the colorless mana of Narset. Um. Hmm. That should work. I haven't noticed. Uh, I haven't noticed that issue, but I think it should. I believe it should work. I haven't noticed that bug. Did I make MTG Goldfish? Uh, Richard made MTG Goldfish. I am just the content, the content guy, content manager. But yeah, Richard is the founder of MTG Goldfish. Oh, we might be able to get, good, get a good Massacre Girl. One power. We could use some more creatures. I are dreaded for the 29th month in a row. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's cheer for our new subscriber. But I mean, if you have two blue sources anyway, you should be able to just tap beacon for colorless and have it work, I believe. Hey, what's up, Floor Emoji? How are you? Ugh, here they come. Spellbreaker, it's a 4 4. Narset. Well, all right. Narset. Go digging. Eh, Bond of Flourishing's fine. 
can go digging for something. We're going to need this Massacre Girl to be really good. I think that's where we're at. Opponent. So what do we need? Our opponent play like two toughness creature, more one toughness creatures. <laughs> There's a Wanderer in the sideboard. Maybe we'll end up moving into the main deck. The problem is a Wanderer, you got to have it on the battlefield first. And it doesn't do much outside of the combo itself. Yeah, that's a pretty good description, Baker. Richard is more the behind-the-scenes guy. He does a podcast, but he doesn't really do much uh, much public-facing stuff. I don't know, content, <laughs> however you want to put it. He's more of the, more of the do all the programming uh, and make sure everything keeps running side. Oh, come on. Yes. One, two, three. One more creature. One more creature. Run it out there. Run it out there. One more creature. Come uh, opponent. Opponent. Alright, well I guess we wait. Let's Bond of Flourishing. Oh, uh, we're gonna try to set up a great masker girl. Take Wild Growth Walker. Play Hinterland Harbor. Jade Light Ranger. Go exploring. Land Branch Walker. Uh, Alright, we'll keep that. Can this Masker Girl do it? Hey, what's up, Jay Zoller? Your sealed for GP Vegas should be coming from Card Kingdom, who I heard was a sponsor. Ooh, thank you, Jay Zoller. I'm excited. I don't even know what it is, but uh, I am definitely excited. Any chance of you going, Jay Zoller? Oh, yeah, everyone. Uh, if you want to go to GP Vegas, it should be fun. I will be in GP Vegas. I think the whole crew is going to be in GP Vegas. Oh, something I wanted to ask you about. There's something I've been thinking about. Uh, opponent attacks, attacks. All right, no blocks. We need our Jade Light to survive for Masker Girl value. Oh, just run out some creatures. Down to 10. Does our opponent know something's up? Uh, GP Vegas is the end of August. Yes? Oh, give me that Steel Leaf. Give me that Steel Leaf. Give me that Steel Leaf. Wow! Oh, it's going to be a massacre. It's going to be a massacre. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't think our opponent saw this coming. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I want to say good game, but I'm not that kind of I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> oh, I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Ranch Walker, sure. <laughs> uh. If we attack first and lose our stuff, could things go wrong? Yeah, that was that was sweet. All right, opponent, yeah, Steel Leaf Champion. Ooh, this is good too. Play Wild Growth Walker. Play Branch Walker. Go exploring. Definitely Graveyard for command. Beacon. To Fairy, gain a life. And, hmm, yeah, bounce steel leaf, draw a card. Uh, yeah, I guess we can attack. Get in. What do we got in the graveyard? One explorer creature, 14 life, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It might be time for just a little mini command, uh, command the dread horde. <laughs> oh, salt girl is a good name for it. Yeah, GP Vegas is the end of August. And it's it's a fun one. Vegas is a fun place to go for a little while. Oh, th they have... Yes! Oh, they have two Explorer creatures. Oh, this is going to be so good. And that's another Explorer creature. Okay. Life is great. Life is so great. The Capital is big. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoop steer for our new... Oh, we can do it at instant speed, too. 
<laughs> One, two, three. All right. Play the land. We will we will just pass. Oh, this is this is going to be an ungodly blowout. Oh, Deckmaster is not up. You're right. I will turn it on as we speak. Oh, Lord. This is going to be good. Let's get that last creature. Run it out, opponent. Run it out. No fear. No fear. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay. Oh, Colossus. Yeah. All right. Here they come. Our opponent is going to, to weep bitter tears. <laughs> oh, what, White Lotus? Did I... Did I miss a message? You haven't been, uh, have not been bothering me for sure. All right, let's do it. So we're at 14. Two, four, six. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Hopefully we counted right or we die. Down to two, temporarily. <laughs> uh, graveyard. We mostly want to fight another one now. Oh, that works. Library. That's another one. Library life. <laughs> done. Done and done. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. Oh, thank you, uh, <laughs> Felix Life. Oh, that was good. That felt really good. Okay. Command the Dreadhorde is sweet. It is super sweet. So the Wanderer... We might actually bring in Wanderer this matchup. It kills Rekindling Phoenix. It kills other creatures. I think that's good enough. I think that can come in. Uh, Dovin can potentially come in. And maybe Hostage Taker can come in. How does the deck do versus Control? That's a good question. Uh, hopefully we play against some control. Hey, what's up, Edge Brewer? We are massacring people, literally. Also commanding them. Command and massacre. <laughs> uh, we can probably go down a Narsa and maybe like one Veraska and one Diviner. Something like that. That seems fine. Let's try it like that. Yeah, let's, I think, well, we're going to try the Wanderer here. We're going to try it. Hey, Seth, would you play in a GP? Uh, would you play a GP or something? If you would play a GP or something similar, what deck would you play? Ugh. For standard, what would I play? Probably a Planeswalker deck. I don't know exactly what build. I think I would play a, a like, a Super Friends deck because I find the Super Friends decks really fun, and... I think that matters uh, as far as playing a whole bunch of rounds of magic and doing it well. So I'd probably play a Super Friends deck, and I would probably... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know exactly what build I would play. I think they're competitive enough, and they're really fun, so that would be my reasoning. Command the Salt. Someone said order the triggers, not the order of the cards. Uh, I don't know if the order matters with Command the Dread Horde. They all come back at once. So I don't think it actually matters. How do you feel about Teamer Wilderness Reclamation? I have never been able to have success with that deck, but I think it is a decent deck, and uh, and other people do well with it. So I don't know why I have never been able to do well with it. <sighs> oh, man. Thank goodness it's not Avacyn Restored. I will tell you that the sealed is from a set slightly more value than the last one. Oh, whoa. The last one was Innistrad, Jay Zoller. Innistrad is pretty valuable. Opponent, getting frisky with the Spellbreaker. No blocks. Uh-huh. Well, Interplanter Beacon to Fairy. Gain a life. And yeah, let's just bounce and draw. We're working towards these Command the Dread Hordes anyway to reanimate more lands. Go attacking. Yeah, that's a lot of lands. That's many, many lands. Hey, what's up, Wooby? With a new arena update, is MTGO Standard Doom? Is MTGO Doomed? Um, I mean, so, yes and no. Like, is Standard on Magic Online Doomed? It's all, it's gonna be around as long as Magic Online is around, but... Arena is the primary place to play to play standard right now. That's just the facts of the matter. 
Uh, Dovin's not bad. That shuts down the Spellbreaker, at least. Dovin, Spellbreaker, Tapland, go attacking. So I think that Magic Online is not Doom, though, because Magic Online has older formats, and people still love older formats. Ever thought about doing a really chill brewing stream? I have thought about that, Daniel the Trust. Is that something you would enjoy? Do you think Wizards will ever post 5-0 arena deck lists? Yes, I think it'll happen eventually, but I don't think we're super close to it. I think... I think that Wizards will eventually have some sort of tournaments. Like, the 30-minute round timer uh, for best of three matches... Boy, that's a lot of lands. The 30-minute round timer for best of three... Oh, that's so many lands. Um, the 30-minute round timer goes a long way towards making tournaments possible. Love to watch a brewing session, but we will have to do it. I think that real drafts were promised on, on Arena, but we haven't seen it yet. Well, we'll have to do a brewing stream. That sounds like it would be fun. Maybe we'll just like build a budget magic deck or an against odds deck together. I've wondered what content, like, what content you could do on stream. Like, one thing that crossed my mind, and I this is probably the worst idea for a stream, but I wondered about, like, what if I just turned on the stream? Oh, my God. Uh, if I just turned on the stream while I was, like, recording instant deck decks. Like, I wonder if that would be entertaining for anyone. Or if it would just be, like, silly and useless. Yeah, we're pretty dead. Tamio, that's a 12 tile, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we're probably dead. Well, yeah, we just threw too many lands here. Land, Ugin, gain a life. Ugin, blow up Galta, but... Our life total's so low for this Command the Dreadhorn that I don't think it's gonna work. Have you tried Gruel Arcbow? I have not tried Gruel Arcbow. I really like the Simic one, but I haven't tried uh, Gruel yet. Does this deck need sweepers outside of Massacre Girl? I don't think so. I think this was just a a rough draw. It's arguable we shouldn't have kept this hand, honestly. We just we didn't draw any early game stuff. We just drew all expensive stuff, and our opponent was on the play with an aggro deck. So it might be that we should have mulliganed. Oh my god. And our opponent also had triple Spellbreaker head. Thought on Esper Precinct 1. Uh, Esper Midrange, Esper Hero Precinct 1 uh, is very good. I think it's one of the better decks in Standard. Live streaming decks that don't make the cut for videos would be really cool. Also think fan matches. Yeah, fan matches is something we gotta do more of. Oh, awesome, AJ Carr. I started playing Lena Arena last week to start a collection for the new format while enjoying drafts. With an investment of 40 bucks on Arena Manage, win enough ranked drafts to get gold, build a complete Esper control deck when new war cards have two or three K gems, so much cheaper than paper standard, perfect for many, uh, mainly modern players who not, do not want to commit to other formats. Yeah, Arena is, uh, if you have the time to put in, it is super good for stuff like that. Maybe we don't want to cut this for Asuka. For Asuka does kill a lot. Hmm. Maybe Kaya? Kaya seems... Well, Kaya kills stuff too. Ugin? Can we cut an Ugin? What can we cut here? We just need a more aggressive hand, I think. Let's cut Ugin. Ugin's, Ugin's expensive. Have you seen the Demir control deck that has been played on SCD Richmond? Do you think it's worthwhile? Ooh. I've seen some Demir control decks, but I'm not sure I've seen that exact list. If you have a link, I'd like to look at it. Yeah, the Nib mizzet deck was so much fun. I really love casting Nib mizzet It is... It's got to be one of the sweetest cards in Standard to... Uh, to cast. It's just so cool. Ooh, feline facsimiles. Charm stray dot deck. Oh, this was from earlier in the stream, but I didn't look at it. <laughs> Charm stray is kind of a funny card to build around. Ooh, Mizium Tank. I think Mizium Tank is pretty underrated. I think Mizium Tank's actually a pretty good card. Hey, welcome, uh, Awesome Devil. Yeah, not YouTube today. We are live, 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 live. 
I am so hyped for War of the... Uh, not War of the Spark. I mean, War of the Spark is awesome. So hyped for, my, uh, hyped for Modern Horizons. And it's starting soon. Sunday, spoilers start. Oh, that does mean... I should have said this earlier. Um, so next week, normally we do a Monday stream. We will be, I think, on spoiler season hiatus next week. So... I'll see if there's a way I can squeeze it in. I'll do it, but I believe we will not uh, not be doing a Monday stream because of in uh, daily spoiler videos. Would watch an against odds brewing stream. That might be cool. Can see like the process that goes into trying to build against odds decks. Well, Narset, take it down. Well, there's El Wanderino. We need lands, though, is the issue. Our deck is... Oh, uh, if we draw lands, this is going to work. If we don't draw lands, this is going to be a nightmare. We got to keep our life total high enough for this Command the Dreadhorn, and hopefully hit our Planeswalkers. Oh, I wish Narset could hit lands. What card would you like to see modernized? Ugh, there's a, a bunch that would be cool. Goblin Bombardment is high on my list. Mother of Roots is a card that I've seen some people, like Pleasant Kenobi and his lackluster beard uh <laughs> um calling for i think it would be miserable personally but i don't believe i don't know i haven't read the story enough but i do not believe that uh it has been revealed who the wanderer is about it hey vince started it vince started the beard thing so i love vince oh also Team Modern Super League is starting soon. It's starting, I believe, next week. Oh, no. Hmm. Not looking good. Not looking good. The whiffing on lands is going to be the death of us. Well, that's a problem. We got a lot of explore creatures, but we can just not find a land to save our life. Uh, there's a lot of different teams, but our team is me, Vince, uh, Corbin, Hostler from, uh, our last Brew Crew run, and, uh, Caleb D. So, oh, our team is gonna be sweet. We're not playing till the end. Hey, welcome, uh, Conan. We're not playing till the- Again! How many times are they gonna have triple spellbreaker dot draw? That does not seem reasonable or realistic when we're missing land drops. Opponent gets in for a billion. We take a billion. Actually, I guess we got a double block. Yeah, I mean, what else can we do? Even if we draw land, I think we're pretty pretty done for here. Maybe Interplanter Beacon? Oh boy. Well, land Veraska. Veraska. Blow up a Spellbreaker. We're fighting and clawing, but our opponent's on this Spellbreaker for days plan. Ooh, yeah, let me see your Fire Urchin. Uh, yes, it is the Beard Dream Team and Corbin. I don't think Corbin has a beard. At least he didn't last time I, I saw him. Attacks, attacks. Well, kill Branchwalker. We lose Veraska. Still at 12. White mana for Wanderer could kill this. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't going to do it. Yeah, we're just... We're dead, right? I mean, we named Massacre Girl... Hey, it's all of our stuff, yeah. Ooh, that was that was disappointing. That was disappointing. Uh, you can just send me a link on here if you'd like to. Hmm. Well, sometimes the magic gods are displeased. Our wanderer didn't do anything. I mean, I guess in defense of wanderer, we couldn't cast it. <laughs> so that was uh, that was a big part of the problem. But all right, all right, all right. Oh, that was a bummer. We weren't literally dead, but we just didn't have any outs. Oh, this is a functional hand. This is the kind of hands we want to see with our deck. This is this is good. This is good. Explore creatures, command the Dreadhorn. That's that is more like it. 
Uh, looks like we're against a control deck. Well, hmm. Let's Watery Grave. Branch Walker. Go exploring. Graveyard, Jade Light. Pass the turn. Can we get through the counters? Ooh, Land Effect looks fun, Baker. Awakening of Vitsugazi. That is a sweet card. Ooh, let me see, Wilby. I tried the new Jeskai Wizard deck with Nabon. It worked pretty good. The double trigger is the new Elite Guard Mage. Yeah, I think Elite Guard Mage seems like the biggest reason to play that deck. All right, opponent's playing Grixis. Huh. And we'll keep it. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. We do have a backup, but our opponent's probably going to have discard. Uh-oh. Oh, I think your deck is on, uh, on private, Wolby. I can't actually see it. So, opponent killed our creature, missed our land drop. Eh, let's Jade Light. Go exploring. Graveyard. And Interplanter Beacon. Play the beacon. We're getting close. We're getting close to a pretty good command. Opponent's got a Nicole Bolas. We have an Ugin and two Jade Lights. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, they. Whoa. Opponent scoops it up. I guess they were missing land drops, but... Favorite Planeswalker in the set? Probably Jay's. <laughs> Laboratory... Huh. Okay. Probably should have sideboarded. Laboratory me. I was thinking about Planeswalkers. <laughs> um, Laboratory Maniac ability. Super sweet. Okay. Um... Okay, I think I have seen... Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. I think I have seen something pretty similar to this. I think uh, I think the Demir list is pretty good. It has some uh, good stuff. Yeah, we're running it back. No sideboard. We'll catch our opponent by surprise. They probably expected us to sideboard in good cards in the matchup. Yeah, Chess Clock coming to Arena is going to be really nice. So, some people were confused by this. Basically, it's best of three only that it's impacting. Each player will have 30 minutes to finish their game, but it's not getting rid of the rope. It's not getting rid of the rope. You still have the rope. So, it's just a safety valve from the game going too long. Uh, it's not going to... Wow, that is a lot of Command the Dread Hordes. Um... It's not going to change the way the game plays. Because some people are like, oh, now I'll just get trolled by... Now I'll just get trolled by people forever. But that's not actually... That's not actually what'll happen. Because people can rope you and troll you that way now. This actually makes it less problematic. Opponent plays the land. Because it puts a a time limit on how long people do that for. Oh, we're going to get... Our hands stripped by this silly disinformation campaign. Takes our Planeswalker. Mills picks up their jank. Could use an Explorer creature to hit a couple lands. That would be good. Ugh. Well, opponents thought Erasure Tribal. That is a useless land. Well, there goes all our Command the Dreadhorns. That's not good. Opponent's got a million cards in hand. Plays a land. It's a Nicole Bolas. Well, this is over and a half. Sure. Exile Wild Growth Walker. Play a land. I mean, this is it. Oh, no, we're done. Well, I guess we... Yeah, we're done. Yep. Yeah, all right. Because now they can play Disinformation Campaign and it's just over. Yeah, new Bolas is pretty good. Meh. Yeah. Well, they had a lot of a lot of discard. Yeah, Thought Eraser is pretty good. It is the best Thought Seas we've had since Thought Seas, that's for sure. Ooh, let me see Luke. 
I mean, Esper Control's probably the best deck in standard, so... Yeah, we're just going to concede. We can't win from here. So I wouldn't... I, I don't think, uh... Saying that Grixis is worse than Esper is at... Out of line. Alright, so opponent's playing Mono Discard Control. Huh. So Masker Girl's probably bad in this matchup. Kaya is probably not super good. What is good? Ooh, you will draw cards. That looks uh that looks like a fun deck. Punish punish opponents for drawing cards. That's uh that's fun and spicy. Ooh, let me see. Felix Cookie. The rope should be introduced if they take too long to decide, like every three to five minutes or something. Uh, I mean, the same system you have now with roping will continue to exist. So that's, the rope system isn't going away. It's just the same exact thing that you have now, except after 30 minutes runs out of your clock, you lose the game. So basically, uh, you can't just get Nexus looped. We really need to sideboard. Uh, you can't get Nexus looped forever. Elder Spell in... Dovin in. Uh, Alright, try it like that. So yeah. Abzan looks good. Grim Flayer, Siege Rhinos. Looks like a solid mid-range deck. Lingering Souls, still a very powerful card. Alright, we get to play first. Well, we'll try it. Nothing seems good when... When you get torn apart by all the thought erasures in the world, but... Oh, it's already starting. Oh, this deck has so much discard. So much discard. Eh, I mean, Nexus is still a top-tier deck, right? It's man in best of one, but... In, uh, in best of three, or uh, whatever, competitive play... It's probably behind Esper, but... Alright, we draw a land. Well, we will play Kaya. Opponent. Probably has some discard. Uh, Surat CT! We have a new donation. Hey, Seth. I would like you to know... Uh, I know you like Aristocrat-style decks. Uh, I really wanted to share this version with Massacre Girl in a sack outlet. What do you think? Well, thank you, uh, Surat CT, for the donation. And... The deck looks... Uh, the deck looks pretty spicy. Seems like a good aristocrat shell. I wonder, I haven't thought it too much about using Massacre Girl. I've kind of used Bantu in that slot. Uh, opponent's just going off. Uh, discard, discard, leaves it on top. We will draw another land. Well, if there's any bit of good news, it's that our hand is so bad, we can't get hit by discard anymore. So, score? We lost all of our planeswalkers. Got nothing going on. Hooray. <laughs> Uh, looks, uh, it looks sweet. Massacre Girl looks sweet. I like God Eternal Catra there. It is a land. Well, we will take up Kaya. Play another land. Opponent. Come on, opponent. You don't have a response to this. <laughs> About it. Where's our 30 minute timer? <laughs> oh boy yeah not looking good I mean that's what happens when you keep a reasonable hand and then opponent has discard on turn one turn two and you draw all lands from there on out that tends to happen opponent come on now all right, we play a land, and we pass the turn, opponent. Okay, bedevils. Uh, they're going to untap and play a Planeswalker, and then there's just not much we can do. Well. Wow, the worst Teferi. Teferi, gain a life, bounce Nicobolas. Draw a land, play a land. 
Too many lands, too many lands. I found magic games to go much better for me if my opponent did nothing every turn. That is true. It does make it a lot easier. Come on, Dak. Give us something here. Yikes. Uh, Alright, another land. Magic games also go better when you draw uh, some spells to go with your lands. Found it kills our Teferi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I mean, 9 out of, nine out of 13. And I guess we could draw Command the Dread Horde this turn, or it's game. And even then, it's probably game. <laughs> All right, and we will scoop it up. Ha! Huh. That was a that was not a great one. Our rank is steadily decreasing. Huh? I feel like we've been on a streak of of running poorly on streams, which is kind of disappointing. It feel yeah, it's very odd. I don't know why it feels like that. What would you be? Uh, what would be the best way to do Super Friends deck on Arena? Uh, there's actually quite a few, quite a few sweet Super Friends lists running around. Uh, most of them are blue white based because Teferis are so pop, uh, powerful. All right, this looks like a functional hand. I don't know how it's gonna go wrong and what we did to anger the Magic Gods. Probably not drawing third land, but. This seems like a, a functional hand of magic cards. Wagger the Wagger go. Our deck might do a thing. Jeskai, yeah, most of them are blue-white base, but you can go Jeskai, you can go Bant, you can go a, a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different directions. Gruel Super Friends, ooh. Opponent Breeding Pool. Oh, opponent might literally be playing the same deck as we are. Their colors look the same. All right. That is a not a land. Go tagging. And our opponent. <laughs> uh, Gruel Super Friends. Sarkin is a sweet payoff. Yeah, I think our opponent is, is doing what we're doing. Unfortunately, they're doing it with lands. Opponent. Bounces. Draws a card. We do not. Well, bound to flourishing. <laughs> Okay, uh, we will take a Merfolk Branch Walker, since it's technically castable. Uh, Tag to Fairy. <laughs> Last game we drew, what, 10 lands out of 14 cards or something and lost, and now this game, 2 lands out of 14 cards, and we'll also lose. Uh, there weren't any lands in the, in the pile. <laughs> Branch Walker. Opponent. That's land. That's not a land. So, well, Branch Walker. Well, I mean, there's a land, but we're pretty far behind now. Ferrot for life. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Uh, the big problem is I think our opponent has Command the Dreadhorn. Uh, and since we miss land drops, they can cast it first, and they can reanimate all of our stuff, so uh, that's not a not a great position to be in at the moment. Opponent ticks up. Names. I guess we could draw white mana and start trying to exile stuff. Opponent. Name's Wild Growth Walker, misses. That's not a land. Well, we have to Jade Light. We have to hit lands. Well, land graveyard. Play the land. Uh, this is probably the turn where it ends. Hit Tamio. Pass the turn. Nice to see Seth gets the same frustration I do when Mana Flood, Mana Screwed on Arena. Uh, it's happened to us a few games in a row now. I don't want to say I'm, well, I don't know if I'm frustrated, but it is, we were just talking about running bad on stream, and it's happening, <laughs> it's happening a few games in a row. Found it. Massacre Girl. I'm going to sweep the whole board. 
Yeah, Tamio. Wild Growth Walker misses land. Well, we do draw a land, so I guess we Temple Garden untapped. Wild Growth Walker. I mean, if they have they have command the Dreadhorn, so it's just game, right? Yeah, I guess we have to do this. And exile their command the Dreadhorn? That I think that's the only thing we can do. Get rid of command and get rid of Jade Light? I guess there's some slight chance of staying alive. Pass the turn. How in the world is this dude running the exact same list? No one plays this deck. Uh, it's kind of like a under the radar deck that people have been testing out. Well, I guess we could draw the land and be the one that gets to command if our opponent doesn't have one. Then we would win if we hit a land. That would be a thing. Opponent kills Kaya. Do they have it? Land. We do need to draw a land for it to for it to matter. Opponent. Oh, they have it. Hell, all right. That miss land drop. <laughs> gonna do it. Gonna do us in. Uh, or our opponent times out, attempting to do it. All right, there's a command. Oh, can you send me? Yeah, all right, opponent. Goes to six, but has a board of planeswalkers, including life gain. The magic gods are not, are not pleased. Can I, uh... Can I get your link again, Wilby? And I'll take a look. Yeah, Massacre Girl's nice against the board, but the issue is... The issue is, uh... Is the battlefield. And the Planeswalkers. That's the part that... I mean, our, our opponent got every Planeswalker. We do draw land... They have Command the Dreadhorn in their graveyard, so killing things doesn't help. Well, it kind of does. Uh, all right, so what options do we have? We can get back two Branch Walkers. And, yeah, I mean, I guess all we can do is Massacre Girl. Kill our opponent's side of the board. Play a watery grave, but our opponent still got a million planeswalkers, and they can just reanimate again, potentially. Ooh, yeah, let me see. Uh, Mal Zelda. Opponent bounces Massacre Girl. Hmm. Sad, sad, sad. Plays a land. Jun Thud. Ooh, with Storev. That's a, that's a spicy one. I like it. Hey, what's up, uh, Maz? How are you? Neoform. We might be playing some uh, Neoform in Modern for our stream. Opponent gets back a Massacre Girl. What do we do about uh, a million Planeswalkers? Is there anything? Exile stuff with our reanimated Kaya. Plays, because Mina gains some life. Yeah, sure, Gimp. Makes it dark. Sacks of land. 
up to 13. how they get to third? Oh, Kaya. Branch Walker. Well, this is what Ardak uh, would be doing if, uh, if we hit our land drops. Hmm. I wonder if there's any reason to uh, continue to play this. Is there any possible way of getting back into it? We can get a bunch of branch walkers, but they're not that good. Well, I guess we play Ugin. Ugin, blow up. Oh, they just get to reanimate everything again, though. Yeah, I think that does it. Oh, magic gods. The Raul Neoform deck is pretty spicy. Opponent going to kill our Ugin. Yeah, we're going to scoop here shortly. <sighs> Salt Eye Vanifar for War. Vivian's Arcbow is a sweet addition. That deck looks super fun. Journey to Eternity, Vivian's Arcbow, Quasi Duplicate. That's like a ton of cards that I love to cast. Yeah. Opponent reanimates everything, and we will scoop it up. Oh, we have been very punished by the magic gods uh, this game. Our only potential way of winning that game is uh, Command the Dreadhorde. That's, uh, that is the only potential out. Well, we will bring in a bunch of random stuff. Ugh. Well, that shows you how... Uh, yeah, there's no fandom this week. They'll be back uh, next week. There'll be another fandom tournament. Shows you how tight the margins are in some Magic games. Uh, we tried to hit that land drop on turn three and didn't couldn't do it, and our opponent got to command the Dren Horde before we did, and that was all they wrote. Hmm. Narset, Teferi. The Kaya seemed good. Unmore Diego on our opponent's Maybe we take out some of the explore stuff. What do we do here? The other thing we got to consider is, like last game, uh, if the magic gods are displeased, our opponent will end up with our planeswalkers. So it makes it a little risky. I'm wondering if we... I don't know. Should we be sideboarding out our good planeswalkers because our opponent could be stealing them? Ha. Huh. I guess we can go down like Bond of Flourishing, a Massacre Girl, and a Veraska. Yeah, let's try it like that. Yeah, we gotta play some more. We gotta play some more. Um. Some more walls at some point. Well, thank you, Sorin Neck. All right, we get to play first. We'll try it. We'll see if we get our land drops. <laughs> what land cemetery go? If we get a land for Jade Light Ranger, preferably an untapped land, it could work. Opponent. Dressing. Stealing our stuff. Have. Oh, we have not revisited the Huatli deck, but we should at some point. All right, we do kind of hit a land. Opponent takes our command, the Dreadhorde. Well, Interplanar Beacon, Wild Growth Walker. Pass the turn. Yeah, Huatli's definitely a sweet one. That could be a sweet addition. Yeah, I don't know what an O we can go. The number is pretty high. <laughs> no attacks. Chris Mac, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber opponent. Planeswalker 1 to Fairy. Bounces our Wild Growth Walker. Yeah. Gets in with Wild Growth Walker. Hmm. Well, land. Veraska. Gain some life. Kill Wild Growth Walker. Pass the turn. 
Yeah, Huawei's a little bit... Huawei's a little bit awkward. Oh, uh, it's about time for some water, isn't it? But as a Tamio... Takes up. Names. J-Light. Whiffs. Uh, play Temple Garden. Untapped. Play Teferi. Gain some life. Talk. Take up, no sacrifice. Pass the turn. Shizer 59 for the eighth month in a row. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Have you or Tom ever played a zombie for Commander Clash? Uh, I think a zombie has been played. I don't remember exactly when, but I believe it has been. Pwn it. Gets back their Tamio. Yeah, yeah. We draw a Tamio. Well, draw a Teferi. It's a Teferi. Huh. I'll play Wild Growth Walker. Jade Light Ranger. Go exploring, gain some life. Um, take up Veraska. No sacrifice. Untap. Untap. Pass the turn. All right, let's see what they got. I saw someone posted this in a LGS group chat. The deck is actually good. Yeah, our opponent catches into fairy draws. Attacks. We're just dead if they have command the dread horde. Yeah, I mean whatever. Sure. Opponent. Land. Yeah, they got it. Well I mean we got to see the deck do its thing. Unfortunately, it was in our opponent's hand as we just both times did not get to the mana. Why do you bring in Ego against Fair decks? This is a combo deck. A Command the Dread Horde combo deck. Yeah, alright. Well. Well, 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 well. Alright. Our, our luck is going to change. So far, the Magic Gods have frowned upon our stream, but there's still time for the Magic Gods. Say our prayers, and hopefully the Magic Gods will turn it around here. Oh, we've had some rough running tonight. Could you try Commander Clash with all players using the same commander, but different strategy? We did that a long time ago, but... Uh, I mean, I feel like we can't put really any I don't think we put any weight on what we've seen so far because we have just been been either mana screwed or mana flooded like 100% of the time so it hasn't our games have not went well so far but I feel like that's just a product of the magic gods wanting our games to not go well so far so give the deck a give the deck a chance Ooh, let me see Jeskai Feather. Opponent. Oh, they're playing... Okay. Well, Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Teferi. And it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. Teferi bounces Kanta draw a card. Pass the turn. Ooh, Deputy of Tension's a cool... Uh, a cool option. Some dive downs. Opponent's got a shock. Bone it. <laughs> Can we ask our opponent to send the recording we pretend it's theirs? That seems like a good idea at this point. Play Wild Growth Walker. Play Branch Walker. We get a land. Alright, pass the turn. Oh, opponent's getting close to uh, doing their thing. Crackling drags seem like they can be a pain. Do you think Shimmer would be better than uh, Bond? Probably not, because 
all of our cards are permanents anyway, and and gaining life is actually pretty important with what we're trying to do. Because gaining life allows us to to support our command the Dread Horde. Opponent. All the burn spells. Uh, Alright. Playland. Pass the turn. Is Kata doing its thing? Yeah, our walker's gone. Tap land for our opponent. Passes. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent for a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Play a land past the turn. We don't got anything good in the graveyard. Vote it. Land. Passes. Now play Wild Growth Walker. Opponent has a counter. Play Branch Walker. Oh, they're going to flip his Kanta. All right. Well, we'll see. Go attacking. Opponent down to 10. His Kanta flips. I mean, basically, we're going to cast this Command the Red Horn and see what happens. Opponent flips. We'll see. Fingers crossed for some good, <laughs> some goodness. Lightning strikes. Well, I mean, this is it. If you got a counter, you got a counter. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. We've already got through two ionizes. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna resolve? Is Kanta okay? It's gonna resolve. We and we got there. Okay. Huh, that's good. Fight with fire, sure. We get back a bunch of cards, we explore, we get a bunch of life, we get a land, we explore, we will keep Narset, gain some life, we play the land, we play a branch walker, we explore, we gain some life, we keep Narset, we take up to fairy, eh, send a message. There we go! That was that was more like it. We even got to send a message with our 0-3. <laughs> uh, so what do you all think of this deck so far? Do you think the deck's not good, or do, uh, is it just, uh, just a rough start to our, our matches? The message has been sent. So what are you looking for in Modern Horizons? What's at the top of the Modern Horizon list? I wonder I wonder if uh if force of will is actually a possibility. <laughs> Potential but not very good, not very good honestly. Ooh, opponent's got a crosses. Well Play Narset. Take down Narset. Get a Tamio. Tamio. Gain some life. Take up Tamio. Name. Command the Dread Horde. Go dig it. Oh, we get one. And mill some stuff. Bounce that. Oh, do we just win here? Uh, I guess we could have just been winning. I guess that all I guess that works. I want Horizon Canopy. Horizon Canopy Cycle would be really sweet. I would love to see that. McGeary for the 15th month in a row. Veteran Explorers is another good one. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Soul, oh, Soul Ring. <laughs> no, no, no. Kes, Kes might be fine. Soul Ring. No way. No, no. That is such a, such a not good plan. Oh, that would be so busted. If they put Force in Modern, it'll become expensive. That's true. It has been reprinted. It would be reprinted again, but that is true. For the immediate future, it would probably be be a little bit steep. Eh, preventing non-combat damage seems relevant. Well, yeah. Is this a Rowl deck? Is that what's happening? Are we getting Rowled? Rowled. Uh, so bring in a couple of Planeswalkers. Go down Massacre Girl. Go down, hmm, maybe like one Veraska and 
the diviner. Try it like that. We need to make Ponza good again. Yeah, Ponza's kind of fallen by the wayside. Hey, what's up, C-Fran? How are you? Good to see ya. The only thing I wanted in Modern Horizon is a great limited format. Actually, speaking of limited formats, what do you think of War of the Spark Limited? We were talking about this on Twitter. I've seen some people saying that they they don't like War of the Spark Limited. I've had fun with it so far, but I'm curious. Hey, what's up, Green Mage? Good to see ya. I'm curious what uh, all of you think. What's your take on War of the Spark Limited? How how good or bad is it? All right, Wild Growth Walker, go. I think it's been really fun. Maybe modern addition to Scroll Rack. Hmm. Scroll Rack, I'm not sh I think it's reserve list, but it might not be. It's not great, but this, but it's not great, but isn't terrible. That's a, a fair, are we getting the copy? Are, are you copying this? All right, well, I think we just go for Rowl? No, maybe we go for expansion. What do we name with Unmored Ego Chat? Is it Rowl or Expansion Explosion? We're casting we're casting it and we're naming something, but I'm not sure what the right name is. Niv Mizzet. Hmm. I don't know if they have Wilderness Rack. Do you think this is a Rowl deck? Is it just Team of Reclamation? All right, let's name, we'll go with Reclamation. Hopefully this is correct. Huh, all right, it is correct. And we get to look at their deck. So what are we dealing with? Ionize, ooh, Detection Tower. Expansion Explosions, Star of Extinction. Cross, cra cra. Uh, all right. Well, that went that went fine. This is gonna slow our opponent down a bit. Get rid of the wilderness racks. Pass the turn. They do have a million counters in hand, but yeah, counters for days. We would like to resolve a Narset. That would be the best. Land for our opponent. Ugh, chemistry's insight. All right. Tab out. We do draw land. Well, Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Vraska. See if this... Alright. That eats counter number one. That's fine. Pass the turn. So they announced some updates... Uh, they announced some updates to Arena that seems sweet. We talked about the best of three. They're also doing these... These events where you can win the, let's see, blue, blue, black, green, where you can win the stained glass planeswalkers, which is really cool. Although they did do some weirdness too with, all right, opponent has another negate. We knew about that. Passes. Well, sooner or later, we're going to resolve a planeswalker. It's going to happen. Um, play a land. Narset. You might as well at least bluff something. Narset. Opponent. Ionize. All right. Come on, Command the Dreadhorde. It'll be so good if it resolves. How's this deck deal with Ashiok? Eh, hopefully we just don't play it. Opponent. Cast that crosses. Cast that crosses. X4, you gotta. Opponent passes. Ooh. Wild Growth, Feroska, Narset. Uh. Alright, let's wait one more turn. Let's bond to flourishing. See if we can get a white source for Teferi. Temple Garden. Temple Garden, untapped. Teferi. Resolves. Draw with Teferi. Pass the turn. Untap some lands. Okay. We're getting close to the Command of the Dread Horde. I mean, yeah, Ashiok would be pretty bad. But Ashiok, I mean, I guess we could kill it. But it's not something that really sees play for the most part. 
What do y'all think of uh, all the MPL stuff that's been going on? The Magic Pro League? Or is that something... Uh, the th one of the things I'm curious about is... Is that something that people even care about? Ooh, proliferate turns. That looks, uh, spicy, Baker. We really need to play a Magistrate Scepter deck at some point. Draw with Teferi. Magistrate, Magistrate Scepter is such a cool card. Like, I always wonder with stuff like that. One, two, three. If it's something that that average players actually care about or if all the like <laughs> uh, complaints in conversation is just like the pro 1% pro community and the rest of the community is kind of like man whatever pretty upset about what they're doing with it I was excited for it to always be the 32 best players oh that's a fair take there is a there is a magic pro league now huh now what on more do you go command the dread horde Let's on more do you go. Opponents just got infinite counters. Chemister's Insight draws some cards. Well, I guess we're gonna name Crosses. Ooh, they had one in hand. No counter! No counter at the moment. Wow, we're just maybe we'll just exile all their win cons. <laughs> All right, Pony gets a new card. Command the Dread Horde is closed. Pass the turn. It would be a pretty good one. Untap some lands. Sure. I think we're doing it. Untap. Untap. Do you think Amulet Titan become more powerful with Karn the Great Creator? Who? I hadn't really thought about playing, playing Karn in that deck. That would be interesting. The only MPL thing I'm interested in are Old Foil Basics. Savich is an MPL now. I like his non-auto chess content. Uh, I like Savich. I don't know... I don't know what I think about him being in the Magic Pro League, though, honestly. Uh, I mean, it doesn't affect me, because I'm... <laughs> I'm not even aspiring to be in the Magic Pro League. But... I don't think Savich has ever played a competitive Magic tournament. Like, I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure that Kavich has just, uh, Savich has just literally never played competitive magic. You know, that was supposed to be graveyard, but. So yeah, that's, that strikes me as a little bit strange. Amazing fit for a promotional league or like an invitational league. 100% agree. But if that's what the MPL is supposed to be, then that's fine. Uh, I don't know if Mythic Invitational counts. <laughs> Mythic Invitational was kind of designed to... Uh, the format was kind of designed to make it so anyone could win, I think. So, but yeah, I mean, Savitz is good at magic. I don't have any doubt about that. But he's never even, like, played a, a GP or anything, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know. I guess, uh, like I said, it doesn't affect me. It strikes me as weird. But... Um, I believe it stands for professional, but, um, I have seen, like, rumors about the promotional thing, but I think that technically it's supposed to stand for, for professional. Well, play Wild Growth Walker. We're gonna go for it. If they draw into a counter, I'm gonna be a little sad, but, all right, so, we get... So that's we're at fifteen. Oh, we don't want to die. All right, fifteen. Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light Ranger. That's five. Narset six, seven, eight, and Wild Growth Walker nine, ten. Yeah, that's fine. Ten life worth of stuff. No counter, no counter, no counter. We'll gain back a ton of life if this works. Bonus X draws two cards. They've already used a lot of counters. Here they come back. Jade Light, uh, Graveyard. And also Graveyard. Here comes the life. The cushion is back up to 23. Take down Narset. Take another Command the Dread Horde. Go to combat. Um, untap, untap. And that was good. That's what our deck is trying to do. Mero said that the original Pro Tour was professional, not promotional. As people try to claim, I don't know about the MPL. Noxious did a video the other day was really accurate. Ooh, what a... 
what did uh what did Knox say? And that is us getting out of the winning track, and that's where the deck can be powerful. That was a pretty good example of our deck being uh being good. That was sweet. Well, before we jump into our next match, a quick reminder. Well, I guess two quick reminders. First off, a reminder that our sponsor tonight, Card Kingdom. And uh, if you ever need any new cards, you can grab them at Card Kingdom. Not only do they got all the new cards, they're pretty awesome uh, people and members of the community. So thank you to them for supporting the show. And I reminded people during the intro, we have new emotes. You can find them down below the stream. So if you haven't seen them yet, subscribe, use them. They're pretty sweet. Uh, and yeah, let's keep playing some magic. Yeah, this deck is super sweet. This deck is really, it's spicy. We got off to a rough start, but but I think we're coming around. I think Ben S. is the best person to look to. He was so happy and was streaming more and not playing poker. Now he's not playing as much. Yeah, I definitely feel bad for the pros. I mean, I'm definitely not a pro, but uh, I do feel bad for not just like Ben Stark level pros, but the people that have got it the worst, I think, are like the gold pros and silver pros and the aspiring pros. Those people, I don't know. I mean, there's there's not there's nothing like that I'm aware of. There's just not much if you're not either MPL. It's like MPL or nothing. And now even the MPL is a little goofy. Digital Chaos and Qwork, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you. This sounds good for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Let's mask your girl -um. Well, I'll see what the matchup is. If it's a Massacre Girl matchup, that'd be C. I didn't realize I was playing you until I had the first Unmorning Ego had to quick commute. Uh, no, you're good. You're good, Jumpstart. Thank you for the match. Uh, what card do you think has potential for standard that hasn't made a strong showing yet? Ooh, that is a good one. So, War of the Spark has... <sighs> I'm gonna go with Bantu. Bantu is a card that I still think is busted. And I think that sooner or later, people will figure out how to make it busted. Maybe it takes it till after rotation, but I think that Bantu is at the top of my list. I think that card's really good. It does take the right deck to take advantage of it, but it has so much potential. So that would be my vote. It just feels like Wizards doesn't know, uh, doesn't have a plan. Try to listen, must understand the pros and aspiring pros actually want or need. Yeah, uh, that that sounds about right. I would probably not disagree with that. Branch Walker. Should do videos of the events for stained glass. Yeah, what are those events, Green Mage? Do you know? Like, I saw, there were some unique event. At first... <sighs> It was weird. Their site wasn't working right, so I was having a hard time finding it. I kept getting, like, an access denied thing that some people were getting. Knox basically said that Savits and Jess were uh, good additions to that PL, but like qualifications. Now, that doesn't sound uh, that controversial. I mean, I think that's mostly just true. As, but at, least, uh, at least compared to... The people currently in the MPL. So that doesn't that doesn't strike me as that hot of a take. Mr. Dubbis, welcome to the fishbowl for the second year in a row. 24 months. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Alright, let's do it, uh Dino Show. Alright, Branch Walker, part two. Uh, Mill Wild Growth. But that's the dirt. I think for the most part, they're experience, uh, experiencing legitimate growing pains as they try to balance much more than they're used to. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Go attacking. Also, the other thing with all the MPL stuff is it really does feel like this whole plan came together pretty late. Like, I, I don't think any of this stuff was originally supposed to be happening until next year. And then Arena launched better than they expected. And they're like, oh, we're going to we're going to try to do all this stuff <laughs> right now, which uh, I assume is is partly why it's so cluttered. Like, it's weird. Wizards. <laughs> Wizards isn't great at a lot of things, but traditionally Traditionally, Wizards has been really good at organized play. Like, that has been 
one of Wizards strong suits and unlike a lot of other companies Wizards like they hit their release dates they're usually not disorganized especially compared to some game companies where you never even know if uh, if the release date is actually going to get hit or whatever so while there's something while wizards is worse at some things than others usually stuff like this is in their wheelhouse that they're pretty good at which is part of what makes it so confusing did you see that phil helmuth the poker pro got second a big mto event or was it not a real poker pro just using his name so um i don't know if that was uh really him my initial guess would be no, and it was someone that uses that as a username, but it could be. There is some... Ooh. There is definitely some crossover between uh, MTG and poker, so it's not not impossible. Do we just have to take command the Dreadhorde? I guess. All right. Dreadhorde it is. Play the land. Pass the turn. Pony, take it up. Yes! Bearded beer time! Awesome! You're going to make it to Vegas? I'm excited to meet as many of you as possible and have it be super fun. Uh, let's take a Verasca, I guess. Play a land. Take up to Fairy. Pass the turn. We're just going to try to instant speed this. Pony! Growing the zombie. Yeah, Vegas is going to be fun. I'm excited for it. Oh, are you going to Taylor Jones? Put together a funny deck with a greeny mana base. Oh, okay. Oh, this is actually funnier. So, opponent, we get to discard Massacre Girl. <laughs> okay, found it. This is going to be sweet attacks okay narset dies that's fine and now instant speed thanks to deferi one two three four five down to 14 no oh no we didn't get to gain life Huh. Well, that's a bummer. I thought we were going to gain life there. Those triggers did not stack the way we wanted to. Hey, what's up, Juice? How are you? Uh, okay. Well, take this down. Take a Narset. Play Veraska. Gain a life. Play a land. Play Tamio. Gain a life. Take up Tamio. Ah, oh, about it. Done. Scoops it up. Yeah, I think I think maybe we needed to go into full control mode to stack those triggers. Yeah, I think I think it's a I think you can set it so it never auto stacks triggers. Although normally you just want it to auto stack triggers, so we probably should have just went into full control mode. Yeah, I want it. I do want it to auto stack triggers, cause like, in a huge percentage of cases, I think the convenience is worth it, and it doesn't really matter. But if we're if we're massacre growing a uh, girling in that state, we definitely need to. Can you play Magic online? Or here you can play Magic online. Um, we I play a lot of Magic online. Also Magic Arena. Play a little bit of both. Does full control let you stack triggers? I believe so. Matthew Cabot for the 14th month. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. I am not actually sure what we're up against. Obviously, it's it's Grixis. Command the Dread Horde, Grixis? Eh, all right, let's uh, shift things around a little bit. Go down to Massacre Girl. Go down to Diviner. Go down... Eh, let's go down the Kaya and run it like that. I go, auto stacks off is not a big hassle at all. Oh, maybe I should do that. We have a wander in the sideboard. We don't have it in the main deck. It tends to not be good unless we're comboing. Man, Bond of Flourishing would be sweet if it put the cards in the graveyard. That would be even better. 
Oh yeah, maybe I was misunderstanding uh misunderstanding your your question, uh D Shaz. Uh not gonna play Magic Online tonight. Usually so the breakdown right now is normally play standard on Magic Arena and then play modern in other formats on Magic Online. So usually a mixture, both here and like on the YouTube channel between the two formats. What's your favorite War of the Spark card, I assume? Uh, it might be... Bulls of Citadel is sweet. I still like... I like New Jace because of the alternate win con. Um, those would be near the, the top of my list. Yeah, let's just do this. Jade Light, Explore. As we should have done that earlier. Graveyard. And a land. Alright. Gain some life. Uh, I've heard you talk about this. The internal record is why everything is such a mess. I don't know. I don't think the marketing department has their sea legs yet. It's weird to me. They now control competitive play. Yeah, that's definitely a somewhat strange setup that uh, competitive play is marketing. And I mean, that would make a lot of things make sense. <laughs> like choices, like uh, or changes that we've seen, and. I mean, I guess, like, Savitz is probably a good example. From a from a marketing perspective, you'd probably rather have Savitz in your pro league than, uh, than maybe any Magic player? Maybe, I don't know, though, because then, like, from a marketing perspective, LSV is great. Like, L someone like LSV seems like such an easy choice. But from a marketing perspective, Savitz does seem... Very top tier as far as choices. Bada Flourishig. Take a Narset. Beacon. Narset. Gain a life. Take down Narset. Take a... Ooh. What's in our graveyard? How much can we get back? Teferi, Teferi. Well, that's pretty good. Ugin is also good. Eh, yeah, let's take command. Command the Dreadhorde. Pass the turn. Yeah, but LSV wasn't even asked, according to him. Like, maybe he'd say no. It's very possible, but... Um, seems like at least ask him. From a marketing perspective. Land for our opponent. Well, take down Narsa. Vraska. Uh, opponent's got a lot of mana up. Let's bond. Bond of flourishing. Take Teferi. Play Teferi. Oh, resolves. Okay. Take up Teferi. Overgrow tube. If Teferi sticks, we're good to go. We're good to go with the command next turn. I think we're doing it. Something that really bothers me is they made Savic MPL for someone like uh, Andre Strosky. Oh man, I am butchering his name, and I love him too. He's I really like uh, I really like him. But and yet Savic spent all day yesterday streaming Strosky's list from his Twitter. I think, <sighs> yeah, it's mostly just confusing to me. I'm not exactly sure what the goals are. Well, take down Teferi. Actually, no. How do we want to do this? Let's just take up Teferi. Play a land. Oh, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it now, aren't we? Wild Growth Jade Light. Yeah, we got to do it now. All right, whatever. Uh, one, two, three, four. Get them all back. Gain back a bit of life. Keep new Teferi. We gotta do it now because of the Planeswalkers. Graveyard Branchwalker. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess we just tuck Nikki B. Bounce, Jade Light. Draw a card. Oh, another command. Okay, we're going off. Yeah, I mean, I think Sav uh, Savitz is good. He just doesn't have uh, a tournament track record uh, of any meaningful extent. 
But, I mean, he's obviously good at magic. You don't get near the top of Mythic without being good at magic. And opponent scoops it up, and we're on a winning streak. We're, we started off rough, but Command the Dreadhorde is... Is turning it around. We're ranking back up while getting back uh, the rank that we that we left. All right. Well, let's keep commanding. Command him up. The deck is pretty sweet. I mean, you get near the top of mythic by playing a lot, but you also have to win a lot. Like if you play a lot, I, it's gonna take you a really long time if you're not winning uh, winning decently. Oh, that's rough, Dinojo. The magic gods had not had not uh, smiled upon you in that game. Um, that's where you get your wild cards. It's normally hidden uh, until until it gets over a hundred percent, and it fills very slowly because now it only fills from commons and uncommons. Now that they have duplicate protection, so. You probably won't see it. It filled up for me from buying a bunch of packs of War of the Spark to build decks. I Made mean, it to Mythic 12. You have to have such a good win percentage. It's sick. Yeah, I imagine uh, I made Mythic. Although, I don't do as well making Mythic as I would like. I tend to... I tend to lose a lot of rank testing budget decks and uh, against the odds decks. So that's kind of been the rough part for me. But Mythic, like, 12 or something, you really got to be crushing it to get in the top, like, 50. Pono says, nice. I think they might be displeased. Oh. Boy! This deck is popular! Everyone's, everyone's playing it. I have not played Mono Green Tron yet. It looks fun, although I think we could try it. Maybe we maybe we switch and try a little bit of Mono Green Tron. I think uh, from talking to Krim about it, it uh, it is probably not a good best of three deck from what he thought. Yeah, let's play Narset, but we could try it. It did look fun. All right, let's Narset get a Tamyo Diviner in for one. Pass the turn. Modern Return is great in best of one. Don't think it's great in best of three. That's basically... That's basically what Krim said. It's a deck that Krim, I believe, built. And it's, uh... It is... It is kind of like a mono green ramp deck. But it's looking to try to ramp into... Teferi... Uh, not Teferi's. Into uh, Karns and Ugins. And also Nissa's. So I think that's why Krim calls it Sandertron. Because you're kind of... Trying to wrap it to like turn three Karn, <laughs> which makes it feel a little bit, a little bit like Tron. Well, command the Red Horde, that's good. Now I think we're on the, maybe on the winning side of this battle. Yeah, that's a big problem. It's more suited for best of one. But apparently, Crip said he made Mythic with it in best of one. Uh, what are we naming here? Yeah, let's go wild growth. We would like some life gain. Alright, mill some lands. Get in for one. Hit our opponent. Hey, thank you for the cheer, Kevin the Pro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ali was the first to play it. I I don't know if Ali's deck was the same. I remember Ali playing a deck like that. Deck it's so deck origins, I think it's for the most part, it's kinda silly to For the most part, I think it's kind of silly to fight about it too much. Because a lot of it, it's so hard to know. Like, when when is a deck a new deck? When is it kind of the offspring of an existing deck? So, unless it's, like, pretty close to card for card. I try to, I try to give uh, credit just to be safe. Because I, I would rather go overboard and mention someone's name, even if they don't deserve it, than, than not mention it and then find out that everyone thinks I should have. But I think it's kind of silly. Do you stream Cube at all? Um, I really enjoy Cube. Haven't streamed it too much, but definitely could stream it. Because it is fun. 
If that's something people wanted to see, I would be down with it. Ooh. Um. Let's take to fairy. Play to fairy. Gain some life. Take down to fairy. Draw a card. Ugh, we need to resolve a. We need a land. We got to resolve our command before our opponent does, or things could go bad. Yeah, doing some cube could be fun. How do you feel about weak artifacts? Wait, how do you feel about how weak artifacts are? I'm guessing it's because Kaladash. Not long ago, but I think we'll see a return in the future. Yeah, I think artifacts are something Wizards is going to be careful with for a while. That would be that would be my guess. I guess we can just get back a land. The graveyard's actually kind of empty. Oh, not anymore. Okay. Well then, uh, Tamio, we will return El Permanente. Uh, we need a black source. Take Woodland Cemetery. Yeah, Woodland Cemetery. And this should do it. I think this does it. Card shot. Welcome to the fishbowl for the 13th month in a row. Opponent knows what's happening. Knows their life is about to end. Runs away in fear of the command the Dread Horn. <laughs> um, many of us consider you to be our favorite streamer. Do you have a favorite streamer or streamers yourself? Huh. That is a good, a really good question. One thing that. I want to do better of is uh is trying to shout out and give recognition to uh smaller content creators in specific i was just thinking about that today doing some sort of series or or even just like on social me media trying to like daily or weekly at least uh, try to find a creator that's starting out or more under the radar and and give them a shout out and uh, and maybe help some other people find their content. But as far as just favorite streamer, uh, we're going to bring in Unmordigos and Elder Spell and Dovin. We're going to go down Diviner, Massacre Girl, Massacre Girl. Um. Uh, Veraska and I guess a branch. Well, let's keep branch walk. Let's go to Amanda Flourishing. Yeah, let's bring in Soren too. Well, let's keep the Veraska. Let's go to all the bonds of flourishing. Try it like that. I really like uh, Nasif. I I enjoy Nasif a lot. Um, LSV, if he's on, I also enjoy, um, these aren't necessarily small unknown people, but they're people I enjoy, uh, I really enjoy, uh, Corey, oh man, I'm spacing on, uh, on his last name now, but, uh, Brad Nelson's brother, he's always just so enthusiastic and happy. Well, it's Unmoored Ego time, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to help out a really amazing stream, you could try hosting William Corson once you sign off. I found him on uh, Gabe's stream, and he's such a nice guy. I will, um, I will have to, I will have to look into that. But yeah, that's something I want to try to do more of. Even if it's just as simple as like, yes, Baumeister. Even if it's just, there's two Corys. That's where I always get uh, confused. Because then there's, um, uh, Grixis Cory. <laughs> I'm I'm spacing out all the Corys' name, but always plays Grixis Control and Modern Cory. Uh, <laughs> who, who also has a last name that starts with a B, I think. That uh, and then I end up getting confused. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take our opponent's command, the Drenhorns. And that should work in our favor. This build has duresses. The le other build we played mirror-wise had duresses. Maybe we need duresses. Chef Seth for the 14th month. Welcome to the fishbowl. Burkhart, yes. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Why does 
the titles seem a little emo. Command the Dread Horde in Standard. Is I, I guess Command the Dread Horde. That that does sound a little emo, doesn't it? Uh alright. Interplanar Beacon. Vraska, Golgari Queen. We will Vraska to Fairy. Pass the turn. Oh, I missed one? Uh oh. Did I miss a sub? That's not good. I wish the Twitch button had an import button. Ooh, that's a that's a really good idea. Really, really good idea. I will definitely recommend that to Richard because that's a that is a great idea. I will see I don't know how possible it is. I'm absolutely clueless about anything related to programming, but Alright, let's hmm play Wild Yoth Walker. Veraska Sack Wild Yoth Walker. Draw a card. Oh my god. Play a land. On Mordigo. Uh, I guess we just take Massacre Girl since we know it's in hand. Oh! I was typing Jade Light! I was typing it! You saw me! You saw me typing Jade Light! I just started making content on YouTube under the name Stone Rain Productions. Do you have any advice? Ooh. Well, it takes a while to get going. Be yourself. Try to stick to a consistent schedule and, uh, uh, and, yeah, just be patient with it. Ooh, let me see, Chef Seth. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to ask you uh, about, oh, into Narset. I wish I had named Jade Light. I really do. Salty. Ha ha. Got him. Cast that duress opponent. Oh, all right. Jade Light. Sure. Bond of Flourishing. Keeps it draws oh and a wild growth walker well tap a land sack a land draw a card we can't draw oh my god i'm so bad yeah i guess it doesn't really matter <laughs> we're gonna lose to this to fairy anyway oh that was bad though that was bad salty friends <laughs> i like the the pun in the name Got a lot of good legends. Yeah, that was definitely a pun. So the thing I was going to ask you is, normally normally stuff uh, on YouTube gets published pretty late. At least, it depends on your time zone, but like, uh, like 11 p.m. Eastern time. What do you think of that publishing time? If you could have, like, Against the Odds and Budget Magic and those series, if they were to go live on YouTube at the perfect time for you, what time would you would you choose? Or maybe the 11 o'clock Eastern time is perfect. Is this deck worth crafting? Um, It's fun and unique and probably pretty expensive. As far as, like, as far as like record we've been kind of middling we've also uh just had some really weird rough running which has not helped 10 p.m eastern time 7 eastern time 8 or 9 eastern time 10 p.m eastern time 1 to 2 p.m eastern time 6 30 central time Oh, uh, oh! Uh, hey, what's up, Timmy? I I think I missed part of your conversation, but if you were if you were trying to ask me a question and I missed it, I apologize. Feel free to uh to re ask. Oh yeah, we're just yeah we're well we'll wait one more turn. We could draw the elder spell, although even if we do, we still lose. I think untaps. Yeah, we're on the wrong side, Tamio. Can get back on Mordigo. All right, let's let's do this. Let's Tabio take up for Elder Spell. We have one Elder Spell. <laughs> All right, we whiff. 
We play a land. We play Wild Growth Walker. What is this? Oh, Teferi's on eight. All right, we're gonna we're gonna concede. Nine p.m. Nine p.m. Eleven p.m. Hey, thank you, Tonos, for the poll times. Do you think they should continue to do Planeswalkers at Rare and Uncommon so that they're not always mythic? Uh, mythic. That is a interesting question. I'm in the UK. I like the upload time. It's like 4 a.m. for me. I wake up and start my day with a goldfish video. 11 p.m. is good. Yeah, I'm curious. because Well, the thing that got me thinking about this is if you read, uh, if you read, like, best time to publish things on YouTube and stuff... A lot of the things say the worst time to publish stuff on YouTube is at night. And we publish pretty late at night. And the best time, they say, is actually in the afternoon. Which, I guess, is like people getting out of school, maybe, and going to you. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I've just been thinking about it lately. Do you have your own merch? I totally wear a shirt you smiling and giving a big thumbs up. I do not have... I do not have uh, my own shirt, we do have shirts on the merch page over at mtggoldfishmerch.com, but uh, none of them have my face. The closest I have to a signature shirt is... Uh, maybe we got to keep one Massacre Girl. Well, Pony has Massacre Girls. The closest I have to my own merch is the I Heart Jank shirt. That is the most of mine. Yeah, maybe that's why the afternoon is such a is such a recommended time is because it's better for non North American parts of the world. Well, that's not gonna do it. Okay, go. Ooh, that's our elder spell. I guess we keep it. Temple Garden Tap. Pass the turn. Well, Swarm can do some pinging. I guess Temple Garden untapped. I well, should just played Woodland Cemetery. I guess pass the turn. What do you think about Oathbreaker? Do you think Venser Panharmonicon or Veraska Dredge would be better? Ooh. I think Oathbreaker is a really cool idea. I still have not actually played it, but it sounds like a really cool idea. Kaya's interesting here. Kaya. Keep our opponent's stuff in check. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Down to 22, past the turn. So, as far as which would be better, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. I would probably go with Panharmonicon, because I like Panharmonicon, but I don't know if that's correct, or just me liking Panharmonicon. Oh, this Soren's going to do some sweetness. Wow. Soren, the Planeswalker Sniper. Soren, coming to play! No serves the Teferi. And we're gonna we're gonna exile it. We don't have a command the dread horde. We're gonna try to keep it in check. Pass the turn. Um Makes sense. I tune in the stream in the afternoon. That's the other thing, is people like the streams and stuff in the afternoon, I believe. I uh, I meant this, uh, I meant to bring this up when you had this shirt on. The cake shirt is in the band. You're the second person I know that has heard of cake. I was very happy when I saw you wearing it. I actually really like cake. Ooh, there's our Command the Dread Horde. The very Time Raveler. Hmm. Hmm. Now what? Well, let's play our own Teferi. Draw with the fairy to see if we can hit a land. No. Soren hit to fairy. Kaya tick up. Pass the turn. Yeah, I do like cake a lot. Cake is amazing. Get to see them live right before they drop their label. Ooh, that's sweet. Yeah, Frank Sinatra is one of my favorite cake songs, actually. Also, if it wasn't for YouTube's silly, silly rules that make it hard, I always wanted to play <laughs> Friend is a Four-Letter Word for uh, Commander Clash. Because it's so perfect for me and Tober's Commander Clash relationship. It's perfect! But, uh, but yeah, YouTube copyright stuff kind of ruins it. We have a new donation from Jammin' 
in bomb, jamming bomb, six dollars and sixty six cents. Hey Seth, I'm an English teacher, and some uh someone of your and some of your pronunciations hurt my brain. If you're not sure how to pronounce something, just ask me. By the way, it's Mike. <laughs> Uh, my kukuru is me kukuru, me kukuru. See, when I when I get pronunciations from other people, I actually say them worse. That's that's part of the challenge. So I don't know if you actually want me to get the pronunciations, although I probably should, and I definitely appreciate the donation, Jammin Bomb. When Frank Sinatra sings, stormy weather flies in sp What are we... Hmm. Oh, we're going to time out. That's not great. Nothing in our graveyard. Well, we can't cast that. Tig up to fairy. Play new to fairy. Keep new to fairy. Bounce wild growth walker. Soren hit to fairy. Uh, we're back to having our land trouble. Back to having land trouble. Bone it, dig it up. Cake gets played on the radio in uh my area. That's sweet. Tams, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. I think we're just getting run over by janky creatures. Not in our land drops nearly swiftly enough. Opponent gonna kill Teferi. Well, land untapped. Elder spell. Kill to fairy. Counters on Kaya. Kaya. <laughs> Tick up. Exile to fairy. Soren. Ping our opponent. Land. Uh, opponent's got the big explorers, though. Hey, thank you, Jammin' Bomb. Uh, Veraska added to the party. Blows up Arkaya. Branchwalker goes exploring. It's a land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Plays a land. Attacks our face. No blocks. Tanos with the gifts up to Jam Bombin. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Well, kill Veraska. This could work. Play a land. Command the Dread Horde. Veraska, we're gonna kill ourselves, aren't we? Veraska to fairy. Kaya. Down to seven. Ooh, we got another new donation. We're staying alive. We're staying alive, kinda. Oh, did we not get a donation? I thought I heard the, the bells of a donation. Oh, there it is. Zephyrnaut with a $10 donation. Turn one, Temple Garden, into Land of Ralphs. Turn two, land into Kiora. Turn three, Oketra. This is fun. That actually does sound super fun. Very, very fun. I like it. Thank you so much for the donation, Zephyrnaut. Well, all right. Let's bounce Wild Yoth Walker. Draw Veraska. Veraska. Destroy Jade Light Ranger. Kaya. Exile Jade Light Ranger. Gain life. Pass the turn. Okay. 
We're we're in. We're on board. We're at nine. We're not dead. Thank you again, Zephyrdoff, for the donation. Definitely appreciate it. Oh, there was a donation. I just uh, I just didn't see it quickly. Pwn it. Oh man. Yeah, last week's Game of Thrones was something. Pwn it bounces wild growth walker. Draws a card. Plays a wild growth walker. Are we just dead anyway? We need an explorer creature, I think. Opponent, face, face, down to four. Wild growth walker. Hmm. So. Flow to mana. Sack a land. Gain a life, draw a card. Not the most helpful time for Unmore to go. Soren. Kill to Fairy. Take up to Fairy. One, two, one, two. Hmm. Narsat gain some life. Take down Narsat. Take to Fairy. Wild Growth Walker. Kaya. Exile to Fairy. We have so many planeswalkers, but we're so far behind on board. Phone at Duresses has options. I think we can stabilize this turn. And then hopefully double Veraska next turn. There's not too many good Command the Dreadhorde targets. Only just a single Teferi. So we might be good here. I guess if we lose the Veraska, it's more annoying. Oh, you haven't been getting notified that the streams are live? Oh, Sniper, that's not good. I was wondering. Ah, Twitch can be weird like that sometimes, for sure. Opponent takes a Veraska. Plays a land. Three cards in hand. Goes to combat. Tags our face. Yep. We might be good. Opponent hits us. Yeah, no blocks. Down to five. What do you got, opponent? What a wild game this ended up being. You don't get them either? Uh, I'm going to have to look into that. That's definitely not right. All right, so we... Veraska. Kill... Jade Light Ranger. Kaya. Exile Jade Light Ranger. And I guess Veraska. Take down Narsat. Get a Tamio. Take up Soren to 16. Hit our opponent. Take up to fairy. Play a land. Play Tamio. Take up Tamio. Name Jade Light Ranger. Mill everything. Play Wild Growth Walker. No attacks. We got the Planeswalkers. I think we're doing it. I think we might have stabilized. We were so far behind. Ponit, Jade Light, goes exploring. We have the Command the Dread Horde, too. Ponit hits two lands. Can we cast it, though, is the question. Ponit, land. What do you got? <laughs> Soren's at 18. Yeah, maybe double check to enable notifications. It's definitely weird. Ponit, 
hitting Teferi. Uh, sure, Teferi can die. Yeah, Soren can get back our explore creature, which is good. Oh, and we drew one. Alright, so Soren. Get back. Actually, this is silly. Tamio, tick up. Name Jade Light. I think we should be able to stabilize. Oh, we draw Jade Light. Mill, mill, mill. Soren. Tick down. For Branch Walker. Gain some life. Mill on Mortigo. Jade Light Ranger. Or Branch Walker. Gain some life. Land. Teferi. Gain some life. Everything gains life. Teferi draws a card. Kaya. Um, Exile Veraska. All right, Exile the Veraska, so our opponent can't reanimate it. No attacks. We got the Planeswalkers on the board. I feel like we should be able to do it from here. Uh, Kaya's only ultimating for eight right now. It's not that much at the moment. Opponent. Look at our Planeswalkers. And we started off 0-3, but I think we're getting there. I think we are shooting into it. I'd get a blue source to Unmort Ego, Opponent's Commands. That might be worth it. Just to... We can get one back with Tamio. Opponent, land, draws. Or does not draw. Narset, shame scoops. <laughs> Oops, yeah, it happens. We did that too. Yeah, this beer is very odd. It is very, very strange. Definitely strange. Phone it. Hmm. Well, draw with Teferi. Um. Play Jade Light. Go exploring. Eh, we'll keep command. Gain some life. Watery Grave. Unmort Ego. Just a case. Get rid of the commands. Oh, there they are. All four. Get them gone! And now I don't know how our opponent gets back, honestly. Take up Tamio. Name command, since we know we have one. Draw command. Mill some stuff. Soren, Ping Veraska, Kaya, Exile our opponent stuff. Um No attacks, pass the turn. Untap. And I think we're good. This deck can do some very powerful things once it gets going. Why not take down Soren ever? Oh boy. Oh dear. It's a massacre. Actually, though, this just makes our command the Dreadhorn absurd. Okay. That's good. That's good. We take it down once. Maybe we should be more aggressive. This actually is going to be super sweet. This is where the deck does crazy things. Ponet Branchwalker. Okay. No counter in hand. Oh, it's a duress. Okay. They can draw the duress, but we have two command the Dreadhorns. All right. This is it, boys and girls. This is it. This is it. This is going to be a good one. Kills Arkaya. Okay. We have 36 life to work with. Well, command the Dread Horde. Actually, take up Tamio. Name. Um, Wisconsin Crab. We just want to mill the cards. And now... Now we command the Red Horde. 36 life, so that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 
Okay. 33. <laughs> Wisconsin crab. Name the crab. Uh, yeah, Mill Massacre Girl. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, graveyard. <laughs> uh, we'll keep that one. Library, library. Game back our life. And then some library, library. <laughs> I like the machine gunning of uh, of that. Play the land. Play Nar set number two. Keep the new Nar set. Take Veraska. To ferry. Take up. And yeah, take on Massacre Girl. Oh, we have Hiding Planeswalkers, too. To Fairy, draw a card. Soren, you hit that. Veraska, kill you. And I think we activated them all. Do we have eight Planeswalkers? We have, is that eight? Is that really eight? One, two, three, four, five, eight! Eight Planeswalkers! <laughs> I think that is a record for War of the Spark Standard. I don't believe I've ever had eight. We have two full... Two full sets. <laughs> An opponent scoops it up. 92 life, eight Planeswalkers. <sighs> Did we miss one? I'm not surprised. There was just so many Planeswalkers there. And we're back up to three and three. And the deck actually is super sweet. Uh, I don't think we're going to do cube tonight, but at some point, uh, if that's something people are interested in, uh, I don't think we're going to switch to Magic Online tonight. We are, we're commanding people, dread hoarding. It's actually really sweet once it gets going. And uh, we've kind of done a 180 from our slow, clunky start. Yeah, we'll keep this. Would personally like to thank opponent for letting the entertainment occur. I agree. Thank you, Turkeys. Land for our opponent. Well, alright. Wild Growth Walker. When you had all those Planeswalkers, a smaller display popped up on the stream for us to mouse over and look at it. Ooh, that's super sweet. Is the stack actually good? Um, it seems reasonable. We started out 0-3, but we had some really bad mana issues. And we have since... We have since worked our way up to three and three, so we've won three in a row. It seems, it seems pretty good at least. Well, let's Narset. You got a counter? Opponent. None of that. Okay, cast down. Well, let's Narset. Take Bond of Flourishing, Bazzard. Yeah, it seems it's definitely turned around. This the list is a bit off from the newer ones. This deck is great at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it seems really fun. There's a wanderer in the sideboard. The challenge with wanderer is it's good at supporting the combo, but it's not very good outside of the combo. My st dream. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Well, get down, Tamio. Take up. Eh. Yeah, let's command. Mill a bunch of lands. Narset. Wow. Whiff. That was that was brutal. The cross. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups cheer for our new subscriber. Oh, you gotta be a, a sub to use the emotes, actually, Troy. You make the best MTG videos after a long week of work. I catch up on all the great content. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much, The Cross. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what are we doing now? Yeah, let's bond to flourishing. See if we can hit a mana source. Kinda. Do we have white mana? Alright, let's take down Tamio. Grab Beacon. 
play Beacon, play Teferi. And we're just going to out Bladeswalker your opponent past the turn. Yeah, an opponent. They're done. They're done. We scared him away. As for control, just doesn't want a piece of us. <laughs> Maybe this deck is actually just actually good. Maybe it's just like an actual good deck. It's definitely turned around. Dylan Fox for the third month. Psst. Seth, is this I looking for any uh, writers to help with output content? If so, where can I sign up? Well, Dylan J. Fox, uh, thank you so much for the subscription. Send me an email, I would say. That would uh, that would be the best way. It's We don't have like an active search going on for new content creators, but if you have something uh, that you're interested in writing about or whatever, definitely open to pitches and it's a possibility. So... Uh, so yeah, if you have some ideas, send me send me magic. <laughs> send me an email about magic. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was reading that you'll provoke the magic gods comment, and uh, and magic just kind of came out. Favorite all time against the odds deck. It's probably got to go back to. It's probably going back to thirty four rhinos. Thirty four rhinos. I don't think it's the best against the odds deck, or even the most fun against the odds deck, but I think that 34 Rhinos was the against the odds deck that that first sort of, like, really captured what the series would be about. Uh, as far as just, like, the most fun, uh, hmm... There's been a lot of there's been a lot of sweet ones over the years. I'm trying to even think. There's quite a few that I like. There's not many that I really dislike, although there are a few where it didn't come together or uh it just it didn't work out the way I was hoping. Not that I actively dislike them, but Yeah, I think 34 Rhinos was kind of the video that really kick that series off it was like third episode maybe or fourth episode because we did like an illusions deck was the first episode and then a hmm i want to say it was druids like steal your land druids was the second episode but yeah 34 Rhinos is really what made it happen. I gotta thank you for today's Against Odds. I love the five-color Niv deck and had to build it myself. The five-color Niv deck was just so sweet. That card is so fun. And the deck is fun. And just all around, that was a sweet one. Well, gonna combat, attack, hit our opponent. Play a Hinterland Harbor. Yeah, all right, let's run out Harpooner. Not the fullest of value, but it lets us beat down. I haven't played in a few years. I'm just getting into Arena. Any thoughts on what might be good for a few decks? I like the look of the Is It spells without Phoenix because of rarity or Esper controller mid range, but that's a lot of mythics. Um, I think if you like Is It but are concerned about a budget, there are definitely some good budget friendly Is It decks. Uh, the very first budget magic actually that we did of for this format was uh hmm yeah let's get let's get unmored ego unmored ego on to fairy should be a big game the first uh the first one that we did for this season was a sahili is it deck that was sort of similar to is it drakes or whatever but very budget friendly very few rare mythic wild cards so i might look some uh somewhere in that direction let's take up tamio command the dread horde going for it reforge claudio whoa two of them uh that never happens welcome to the fishbowl thank you for your subscription Big Soup's cheer for our new subscriber. An opponent just done! Done, done, done! And we got a winning record, and we're on a streak. We started off 0-3, and we are up to 4-3, and, and we just keep dreadhoarding people. We're gonna we're gonna end up at Mythic by the end of the night. Well, I've definitely come around on this deck. I think it's actually pretty reasonable. And we're kind of beating control, too. 
It's kind of like all around, it's kind of working. It feels good to beat Esper. Blue Green Merfolk is a is definitely a good starter deck. The upgrades, eh, it doesn't become like a top tier deck, but it's still fine. Yeah. <laughs> you never hit two cards from Tamiyo. That just doesn't happen. If there's something else we learned, there is still a lot of control decks on Magic Arena. Ranger Man, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Uh, good news is this hand seems pretty absurd against control. Uh, we will take a... Hmm. Another land? Jade Light? Man, this hand's so good. Everything about this hand is just excellent. Yeah, let's take the land. We have so much action. Let's hit our land drops. Pass the turn. I really like Spore Mound Life on the Limb combo. We're heading to... Ooh. Spicy. Spicy Kiora. We are heading to Modern for a budget combo deck next week that I think people are going to like. What what modern combos do you think we could be playing out of War of the Spark? Rubik's Cuban, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. It's a deck built around a War of the Spark card. Comboing in modern on a budget. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, no card draw for you. Well, Played to fairy. Bounce rekindling phoenix. Draw a card. Take down Narset. Whoa, boy, whiff. All right, play overgrown tomb. Pass the turn. That whiff was pretty bad. Ooh, that's that's a pretty. There's some good yeses. Someone may have guessed what we're doing. It's not card and lattice. Card and lattice is too expensive. But someone did guess it. I don't think I'm going to tell you what it is. Would you play anything but Amulet Titan in modern? Oh, uh, there's probably some non Amulet Titan decks I would play. Oh, this is kind of annoying. I'll take up to fairy. Hmm. What do we do? We're going to lose our Planeswalkers. Well, play Jade Light Ranger. Go exploring. Graveyard. Graveyard. Watery Grave. Pass the turn, all right, opponent, kill our stuff. It's pronounced amulet. Yeah, that is, everyone knows that's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> uh, yeah, rekindling phoenix is annoying. Gonna kill our Teferi. Interesting. I figured they might want to get rid of Narset, but... Narset is shutting down all their card draw. Another soul diviner. <laughs> Jaguar, welcome to the fishbowl. That's a that's a pretty good guess, Audius. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoop's here for our new subscriber. All right, so hmm. Now what? Well, let's go to combat. Attack Kiora. Hit Kiora. Play Kaya. Gain a life. Take up Kaya. Play a land, play Narsa. Number two, gain a life. Oh, opponent's gonna draw so many cards. Draws a card. Game new Narsa. Take down Narsa. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh boy. 
Our Narset running has been so bad. Oh, double whiff. Double whiff. Oh, boy. Narset, not looking good tonight. Not at all. I fought you earlier with Espear midrange, tilted after a bad block for lethal in the first game. Was cool to find you on the ladder. Good luck. Oh, good game, uh, Gilfs. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, the block... You probably were going to lose that game anyway, knowing our hand, if it makes you feel any better. I feel like we were pretty far ahead there. So, but yeah, that was a good game. I've definitely made those same puns. Yeah, Narset's turning into Augur Bolas. Planeswalker, Augur. Opponent. I'm going to kill our stuff. Going to kill our stuff. Hooray. I mean, eventually, hopefully, we command the Dread Horde and resolve it. That's what we want to do. I don't know how many counters they can play in this deck, honestly. Opponent. Wow, not even attacking with Phoenix. Okay, kills Narset. Nicole Bolas, Dragon God. Lovely. Uh, that's going to be an issue. Takes up. We will exile Breeding Pool. Yeah, Nicole Bolas Dragon God is really difficult for us to beat. To beats, to beats, to beats. <laughs> uh, to beat. Alright. Well, so we will play to Fairy. Gain a life. To Fairy. Bounce Rekindling Phoenix. Draw a nothing. Go to com... Hmm. Go to combat. Ugh. Yeah, hit Nicole Bolas. Narset again. Gain a life. Take it down. Well, there's command. I don't know what the chances are of it resolving. Take up Kaya. Submit zero. Pass the turn. All right, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Yeah, Phoenix is annoying for us. We are basically dribbling the Phoenix. Opponent's thinking about what we can get back. It's not that much at the moment, honestly. It's better if we can kill one of their Planeswalkers. We do have enough life. We just don't have much in the graveyards. Yeah, they might not have too many. Grixis usually has a lot less than Esper. So maybe we can sneak it through. Yes, we're going to try to feed the kids with Command the Dread Horde. All right, kills are sure. Uh-huh. If they kill our Planeswalkers, we just get more back. Pwn it. Narset, Narset. Sure. Uh, they want to draw a card with Phoenix. That makes sense. And with Nicole Bolas. Just draw all the cards. Ooh, now we can't kill their Planeswalkers. Hmm. I don't know if this command the Dreadhorde is going to be enough. Oh, no! Oh. And a land. Yeah, Nicole Bolas can be our... Hmm. Well, now... Now I don't know what we do. Pass the turn. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, double yikes. Yeah, they have Nicole Bolas. Well, all right. I mean, is there even any point to this? Not really. Yeah, I think they just got us. Nicole Bolas has been a problem. Phoenix isn't really that much of a problem. Nicole Bolas, though, is... That is a huge problem. I think we're just dead here, honestly. Yeah, maybe we should have just cashed in Kaya. 
Thankfully, our graveyard wasn't too good, but it definitely got worse. Opponent sees our nothingness. Kills our planeswalkers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Kiora is still sticking around, drawing cards. The Elder Spell's in the sideboard, I believe. I don't think we have one in the main deck. Sure. Surprised they didn't kill Narsa at first, but... Yeah. I think we go to sideboarding. I don't think there's any way to get back from here. There's just not really... Our deck doesn't have a thing that lets us get back from that position. We probably should have negative five the Kaya. That makes sense. All right. So, Grixis Control. Elder Spell in... Dovin, Teferi, in. Unmoored Ego, maybe? Go down Diviner. Go down Bonds of Flourishing. Yeah, let's go up a couple. Let's go up a couple Unmoored Egos. Can get rid of a Bolas, at least. Kaya seems quite bad in this matchup. Um, hating on the graveyard might be relevant. Maybe. Is it time to drink some water? Thank you for the reminder. Hydration time. Hey, what's up, Max? How are you? All right. Hydrated. Hydrated for game two against Grixis. Oh, boy. How much should we trust the magic odds? If we draw land, this is great. Great, 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 great. Uh, uh, we're on the play. <laughs> we probably lose if we keep it. That is the most likely outcome. Had a opponent mulligan to zero? Oh, man. The magic odds, they've betrayed us. Oh, boy. Well, now we're going to... Well, now we end up keeping a one-lander after mulliganing twice. I think, that, I think the magic gods do not believe in mulligans. I think they are punishing us for mulliganing against their wishes. <laughs> that's, that's why I like keeping those one-landers. Soul Diviner. Well, Branchwalker, explore. Land, please. That's not a land. All right. Uh, pass the turn. Yeah, I'm more in the Andrea camp. I'm not a not a big mulliganer. I probably should mulligan more, but it feels like when I mulligan, I end up getting more punished than if I don't mulligan. And this is this is one of those cases. Uh, if we kept that first land and drew a second land, we would be in such amazing shape. But all right, pass the turn. I would normally call it bedtime now, but I have to watch the stream from the most positive player on the interwebs. Oh, well, thank you, Max. Eh. All right. Magic gods, be not pleased. Let's let's move on. Move on. Get in another game before we uh, run out of streaming time. All right, come on. Come on. Winning right. We played a lot of games with this deck. We played... Somehow we've played eight matches. That's a, That is a lot. It's okay to mold a six, but sometimes a mold of six just means mold a zero. That's, yeah, that's the problem. I think, I mean, if you think out of it, like, if you just had a one land hand, what are the odds that your six card hand is actually going to be? Oh, I would give anything for one land. <laughs> All right, this is, this is a fine-ish Fine-ish six. We got a mulligan that one. There's no choice there. I don't know about the... I'm still not sure about the London mulligan rule, honestly. I do think it'll be good for standard and limited. I still think that my preferred outcome would be Wizards... This is a Command the Dread Horde uh, deck. I think my preferred outcome would still be... Standard and limited switching to London and older format staying with the Paris rule or some sort of modified Paris rule or Vancouver rather, not Paris. Down to 19. 
I think Seth me messed with the Magic Guns food. Yeah, probably something. Although the hand's kind of coming together. Ish. Opponent's playing Bant to uh, Vivian. Vivian's proven itself to be a lot better than I expected. Vivian's actually been pretty strong. London Mulligan rule should be actual, actual Mulligan rule. I agree, but really kind of only for... I don't know if I want it for Modern and Legacy and so forth. I'm not sure about that. Let's take up... Jay Light Ranger. Wow, four four lands, alright. Um Actually, no. Uh, we'll just pass. We have a new donation! Zazi! Hey, good to see you, Zazi. Uh Zazi with a five dollar donation. Hey Seth, if you do a deck building stream, you should do a couple of polls to make a starting point for the stream, like a format, maybe give us a couple of options for cards and go from there I think it would be a fun stream I like that idea I think that would be a fun stream uh take up J Light Ranger wow that was a relatively record setting amount of lands did you see that that was that was literally seven lands in a row and then a Ugin I guess I'm glad we weren't drawing those, but that's kind of crazy. Pass the turn. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Zazi. I think having some sort of starting point makes sense. Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, I'm surprised our opponent countered that, too. It doesn't seem that good, but... I guess it's fine. Opponent gets in. Hits Tamio. The problem is our opponent's never going to tap out. We don't really have anything to reanimate anyway. Teferi. Well, take up Tamio. Merfolk Branchwalker. Oh, well, we can't. We can't catch a break. Teferi. July. Okay. Growth Chamber Guardian. Well, bounce July. There's a land. Uh, no attacks. Pass the turn. We need a Massacre Girl. I think that's what we need. Yeah, I'm surprised our opponent should have just waited. That was weird timing for that. Ticks up. I wonder if they know we have Command the Dread Horde. Although, it will probably kill us. Attacks, attacks. Now, we're going to bounce. Or block. Yeah, opponent does their thing. Growth Chamber Guardian. How many counters can they possibly have? Land, untap. Shalai mana. Well, take up Tamio. Name. I don't even know what we name anymore. We're at 21. Ugh. Ugh, now what? Is there enough time to tweak the deck on stream? Ooh, what a. What? tweaks would you suggest necronix we'll definitely talk about it uh what tweaks what tweaks are you thinking i'm definitely open to hmm to tweaking We still, we have not hit a single explore creature. Take up to fairy. Ugh. Huh. Uh, one, two, three, five, so it's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, 
Alright. Yeah, let's kill ourselves. Down to five. Veraska. Destroy Vivian. Teferi. Bounce Growth Chamber Guardian. Teferi. Tuck Frilled Mystic. Oh, maybe we're good. Why is our opponent not casting things? That is so... That is so weird. Couldn't they have flashed stuff in and ruined that entire thing? We don't want to... We can't really do it at instant speed because of... Uh, oh... Yeah, we had Teferi after it resolved, so they didn't have anything to deal with it. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good point. They would have had to do stuff early if they were going to do that. Or if, they would have had to, like, in response to Command the Dren Horde, cast in their Shalai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Teferi, yeah. Uh, little Teferi is proving to be pretty close to Big Teferi good. Opponent, running their stuff back out. We could use an Explore creature. Just to buffer our life total. To fairy. Well, take we're gonna hit them eventually. We have to. They're in our deck. J Light Rager. We're probably gonna hit two at some point. Alright, not yet. Um Bond of Flourishing. Well, that's an explore creature. Branch Walker, explore. Oh, I missed the I missed the upgrades, the suggested upgrades. Take up to fairy. Take up to fairy. We're back up to 14, which is nice. Ooh, branch walker. Play branch walker. Getting some more life. Uh, graveyard. Take up Veraska. No sacrifice. Play a land. No attacks. We do have to win before we mill ourselves out. Wanderer for the Dreadhorde combo. Uh, I still... I, we have one in the sideboard. I'm still not especially sold on it. Just because, well... We'll have to try it. We have to try it because people are asking for it. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's actually good enough, but that doesn't mean we, we shouldn't try it. We should probably still try it. Yeah, I think our Teferi's gonna die. I I would guess that would be the Planeswalker they kill, just because people are scared of Teferi. That would be my guess. Unexpected Titan. Ooh. Unexpected Results is super fun. We've had some, a, a lot of fun playing Unexpected Results in Modern. Definitely a really fun card. Yeah, I think Teferi's gonna, gonna get tucked. I guess we can reanimate it and tuck it eventually. Perhaps. We would like... Where's our Massacre Girl? Well, there's one in our... There's one in our graveyard. Bounces Wild Growth Walker. Draws Freeled Mystic. Oh, Rolodex. Okay. One, two... Wait. One, two, three... Hmm. Well, I think we have a plan. Our plan is Tamio. Get back Massacre Girl, I say. <laughs> yes. Return to us. Massacre Girl. <laughs> See you later, board. Yeah, roll it X. July, trigger, trigger, trigger. Massacre girl doing its thing, proliferate, whatever, that's fine. Veraska. Get rid of Teferi. Take up Teferi, play Kaya. Take up Kaya. Take Lanawar. Actually, Lanawar is. Hmm. Yeah, Rolodex and Teferi. 
Massacre Girl's been pretty sweet. Pass the turn. And now we can command the Dren Horde again and do it all again. And we don't care about Freld Mystic. It's a cross. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, this is going to be a good turn. This is going to be a good turn. So, 18 cards. So, Kaya, gain a little bit of life. We will exile Growth Chamber Guardian Vivian. Um, Tamio. Take it up for, sure, Bond of Flourishing. Mill some cards. Take up to Fairy. The question is, what are we reanimating? Yeah, all right, let's do it. We're going to go sort. Actually, we play Wild Growth Walker first. Play Wild Growth Walker. Command the Dread Horde. Uh, our graveyard. Oh, boy. JD, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. So, two, four, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 19, 20, 21, 22, oh boy, 23, are we going to kill ourselves, did I count this right? Yeah, we're, I think I did it right. <laughs> All right, trust the magic gods. We're good. Now we gain a ridiculous amount of life. Yeah, insane life. It keeps coming. Our board is huge. It's still happening. To fairy, Tuck Crosses, Tamio. Get back command to do it next turn. And, uh, yeah, massacre ya. Land and go. And that's what the deck can do when it really does. Well, consider your math is really poor. I wouldn't trust your calculations. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to do fast math uh, when you're scrolling through cards and clicking things and do it exactly right. But opponent scoops it up, scoops it up. And that is the power of the deck. Stuff like that is just so insane. So we will bring in Hostage Taker. We will... So we do have the Wanderer in the sideboard. Command the Red Horde does not exile itself. It is there waiting to be reused. Just <laughs> hanging out, letting us loop it with Tamio for no real good reason. <laughs> I think we go down the Kaya in this matchup. Maybe, like, one Veraska and, um, yeah, let's bring in some Harpooners. Try it like that. Explore triggers combined with your Wild Growth Walkers, which give you three every time your creature explores. Yeah, that's the, that is kind of the main idea, is to gain life with Wild Growth Walker and use that life to reanimate tons of stuff. Hey, trending Twitch clips are good. <laughs> yeah, the the deck is really fun when it does its thing. Ooh, I kind of like this hand. It's not a combo-y hand, but it's it's got a nice explore curve. Land, go. This just looks like Golgari mid-range, but Golgari mid-range could be good here. Oh, it's a massacre. Massacre Girls are sneaky all-star. The magic gods come through with the land, and here we go. Why not use Path of Discovery? Uh, you could use Path of Discovery. All right, opponent has Deputy. Yeah, that's fair. Well, Beacon, Jade Light. Hopefully you find a land or two. Two lands also works. Pass the turn. Still think Jace should be in the deck for a quicker win con. Is Jace a quicker win con? I mean, 
I guess it's good if we get in those games where we've milled through like our entire deck. It's definitely helpful there. And I guess we could explore more aggressively to our graveyard. I think the main challenge is just uh, it sometimes being tricky to cast. That shall is a little annoying. And I guess we bond to flourishing. Take Wild Growth Walker. Beacon Wild Growth Walker. No attacks. Next turn we can start gaining life, maybe. I think the biggest problem is just casting it. We don't have a very good curve for a triple blue spell. But we could play one of them to try to like mill and reanimate. That could be a possibility. Bonet. Ooh, a Ketra. One. Yeah, well, let's do this. That's a ambitious attack. Sadly, we don't have an answer for this Oketra. This game's going to get wild. Wild, wild, wild. All right, so we will... Jade Light Ranger, go exploring. Uh, Graveyard. Uh, graveyard. Gain some life. Temple Garden untapped. Branch Walker. Graveyard. Man, our graveyard is loaded with Planeswalkers. No attacks. We have some really good Planeswalkers in our graveyard. Phone it, lad. Three cards it had. Attacks, attacks. Does not attack. Hits us. Sure, we take three. Opponent. Wow, if you get to reanimate all this, it's so good. <laughs> oh, it would be so sweet. We mailed like all of our one of Planeswalkers off those Explore Triggers. Ooh, Deputy. Well, deputy, so that's three. Oh, we're just getting everything. Please, no counters. Oh! That snake shall lie. Uh, graveyard. Then Ugin destroys deputy come back to us wild growth walkers to fairy bounces okatra tabio takes up uh i don't even know what we name bond of Flour we we sideboard out bond of flourishing didn't we um sure to very hero of dominaria No attacks. And that was a turn and a half. Getting in sacrifice with Command the Red Horde would be sweet. Oh, that would be sweet. Like, redirect it. Oh, throw in uh, True Fire, uh, whatever. The True Fire Champion? Whatever the, the Spite Mare card is. Oh, opponent with a Time Wipe. Okay. Interesting. Well, take up Ugin. Hit a land. Hmm. Take up to Fairy. Take down Tamio. For Command the Dread Horde. Play a land. Pass the turn. All right. Command the Red Horde again. 
Yeah, Wanderer, the, you got to have it in play. And uh, and it's a little bit questionable in some matchups. All right, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, maybe we don't care about deputy. Yeah, I guess we kind of do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So we go to one temporarily. Get rid of the Shalai. Keep Teferi. Gain back a bunch of life. Keep Teferi. <laughs> it just keeps happening. All right, phone it. Done and done and done. And this was an interesting deck. So... We got stuff to talk about. I think that's uh, that's probably our last match for the night. But we got to talk about this deck a little. So the deck, we started off 0-3. And we're kind of a little punished by the magic gods. Hey, welcome, uh, Tony Dola. Good to have you. So we started off 0-3. But then we kind of did really well. We went 5-1 over the rest of our matchups. Kind of beating a wide variety of decks, although a lot of control. So uh, the deck, I've kind of come around on it. It feels fairly competitive. It's hilarious. Uh, the combos of Command the Dread Hoarder Suite. The one thing I will say is one card people have asked about is Wanderer. And we'll have to try a Wanderer build. My thoughts are it probably won't be super good the challenge with wonder is you got to have it on the battlefield first it's got to stay on the battlefield and then you got to resolve command the dread horde and if it gets killed in response by like a Veraska's contempt or assassin's trophy or something you risk kind of just losing the game on the spot so the life gate plan worked well i like the water plan for for spiciness or just to test out so i do want to test it out and the deck could definitely use uh some tweaks but really it felt pretty good once it got going and some of our losses we just magic stuff no lands all lands stuff like that plus we got to name wisconsin crab so <laughs> hopefully wisconsin crab is in the highlights and the deck has just some crazy turns we saw some of the crazy turns where it just does insane things so maybe we'll revisit this one in the future because it does some really just really unique fun stuff and yeah i liked it i thought it was really cool so uh what is the actual name of the crab <laughs> Uh, wish coin crab. I call it Wisconsin crab. We were just naming something that we didn't want to hit anything with our Tamio, so <laughs> for some reason we ended up naming wish coin crab, and I call it Wisconsin crab. <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin crab should should be our new mascot. I mean, it can't replace scoops, but maybe we can get some like scoops in Wisconsin crab friend art. <laughs> <laughs> Play Commander with me and Tober. <laughs> uh, anyway, everyone, I think that does it for our stream tonight. So, reminders, replay YouTube. Uh, tons of content there. All the old streams. This one will be up tomorrow. Normal YouTube. If you missed yesterday's Against Odds, there are some sweet ones. Yes, we'll have to try to... I gotta look into the Stained Glass events, Green Mage, but I will try to do something with those. Uh, against Odds last night. Tomorrow there's a 5-0 Fish. Commander Class. Much of Brew on Sunday. Heading to Modern to combo off with Neo Brand. Try to kill people on turn one. Uh, modern for Budget Magic on Monday. Modern Horizon spoiler starting. So tons of stuff coming up on the YouTube. Anyway, uh, yeah, and one last shout out to our sponsor tonight, which is Card Kingdom and Card Kingdom. They make lots of magic card sales. <laughs> if you need any new cards from War of the Spark or from Modern Horizon soon, you can grab them from B Card Kingdom. Not only does that support a super sweet game store but it is a good way to support the stream as well so thank you to them for supporting the show and most importantly thank you to all of you i love y'all it's always fun so have a wonderful weekend there is magic online championship coverage this weekend at scg event so plenty of magic sunday spoilers start on the official twitch channel for modern horizons during the mox event so keep it out for all that have a wonderful weekend whether you are magicking or not i love y'all have a good time and yeah i'll see you next week